Hello everyone, welcome to a DSP video. Uh, I will be doing some reading here. If you want to go straight to the video that I'm going to be talking about, I'll put the timestamp below for you guys to uh, watch. I'll at least try to remember to put the timestamp below. I'll, I'll make no promises, but I'll try. I'll try, guys. It's the best I can do. So we start on the, on the Twitters. So, during his time off, this is all he posted on his time off. PUBG, and then how he's going to upload Elder Street Fighter 2. And then there was this huge gap of time before he uploaded, before he posted this tweet longer that we're going to be reading. So, he just says, got my 2017 taxes today and finally have full info on my tax situation. Now, now why this is a big thing is... I want you to keep in mind, as I'm reading the tweet longer, he got the, these this tax information in the beginning of the day. The first thing he did on his day off was to pick up his tax documents according to Phil. So he got this information early in the day. So I want you to keep that in mind. I want you to keep that in mind because it's gonna come it's gonna come in handy when we talk about what's what he said in this uh, tweet longer. So let's get on with it. Got my 2017 taxes today and finally have full info on my federal tax situation. Since many of you are concerned and have contributed to help, I feel the need to share the results. If you absolutely do not, please uh, skip this post. First, the long explanation. Now, now he did put a uh, too long don't read at the bottom of the page. Usually, people put that on the top. But Phil does everything backwards. Uh, you know, when he does a vlog, he's like, oh, the, you know, uh, just skip to the end if you don't want to know. He never puts the timestamp or whatever to to say, oh, go here if you want if you don't want to miss anything. He doesn't really get that kind of stuff straightforward. But it is what it is. So he starts off with the first with the long explanation. It's pretty much exactly as I'd expected. I owe a bunch of money, over four thousand dollars. For my 2017 federal taxes by April 17th, because I made more money last year than I than I usually would have, so maybe you shouldn't have begged so much for money at the end of last year. That that, like that that's the one thing I never really understood why he felt the need to do that. Like, I don't know, whatever. This was greatly in part uh, due to you guys, the viewers and fans, rallying and being super supportive at the end of the year in order to get me over the state business tax hurdle I was facing in January. You absolutely did, but because I made more money than usual, I now owe the IRS about 4k more than I had paid. So he says this, and then he's he's complained about slow days, on Twitch. On Twitch, I guarantee he's getting slow days because of this tweet longer and this whole thing about oh you guys rallied at the end of last year. I I guarantee his fans are doing that except for his top cucks like uh, Infinite Fifty Five and uh, Miss Wagons. Uh, then we go down. We continue. In addition, the new tax attorney is charging me around 1000 to file my taxes. This is as expected as my previous attorney charged me about the same, and he did your taxes wrong. So maybe instead of paying the same amount, you should find a cheaper tax attorney and then kind of do some work on your end to make sure he's doing them right. You know, you, you, you should probably put equal amount of effort into your own taxes. But, uh, or at least try to understand. I mean, I know not a lot of people are great with with taxes or they have a good understanding. That's fine. That's fair enough. That's why you seek help. Uh, you know, find a friend. Find someone that, you know, might be able to help you. Ask your parents about taxes and, and see how they explain it to you. You know, you, you should ask some people for help. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, are you asking your parents for help? Oh. But the thing is, is that, you know, your parents have been paying taxes for a while. So if you're if you have any questions, you know they probably would have a good idea of 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 where to get information from, you know, like stuff like that. Look for help, you know, because it's your business too. It's it's your taxes, you know. You don't want to uh, get fucked. Come on, come on now, okay. Uh, this is expected, okay. The good news. I like how the good news is only one sentence. 
The good news, I have raised enough money to pay both these 2017 back taxes and my tax attorney for his services, so I'm in the clear there. So, so this is what I don't understand, these back taxes. So is this like including the three years that he wasn't paying business and occupation tax, or what is this 2017 back taxes? I don't really quite understand that, but um, okay, he's able to pay those two things, which... You know, honestly, I was I, I I kind of assumed he would because, you know, it's Phil. The bad news. In addition to everything above, I also now am expected to pay my first estimated tax payment for 2018 by April 17th in the amount of another 4K. This, sadly, I don't have at all. I don't have at all. All of my available funds are going to the 2017 taxes and the tax attorney filing fees which is exactly as I'd feared. I do not realistically see myself raising 4K in the next nine days to pay the to pay this unless a miracle happens. Hint, hint. So, sadly, for now, it looks like I'm stuck on, I'm stuck not paying, meaning I'll begin to accure, accrue late, late fees and penalties on this unpaid tax. I also have further payments due, to, uh, due uh, in June. September and December. So, see, we're never going to get away from it. I, I guarantee, even, even let's say, in a perfect world, in DSP's perfect world, he didn't get these back taxes, and, and none of this happened, and all he had to worry about paying the taxes like a normal like person, whatever, and, and bills, he would still beg for money. I've, we've seen this last year and the year before. Regardless of the situation, he'll always uh, uh, beg for money. I've not seen him one year, one year, not uh, go through that year without begging for money. I've yet to see it. So, uh, December, which I hope to be able to afford with the money I raise between YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, Teespring, and tips. So I'm not trying to be with Twitch, but whatever. Uh, so let's, wait, hold on. I also have further payments due. And, okay, so these are other payments that, okay. So if things go well this year, I may be in the clear. Okay. See, this is... This, reading this paragraph, it, it kind of... It made me scratch my head. Because he... He may sound as if, Oh, I'm going to have to uh, sell the house and do all this stuff. And now it's like, Well, look at all this bad stuff. Well, the good news is I should be in the clear. Okay. But it absolutely sucks. I'm going to start off, start off behind and know these fees and penalties. So, so, so in other words, Phil will be fine. He'll just have penalties and and um, in the late fees to pay. Okay, I mean. I need my sip of drink, guys. Let's uh, continue. Uh, it, the worst part. Uh, so far, those state business taxes I had to pay in January, plus the attorney fees I've already paid to resolve the situation, have cost me around 5 k If my old tax attorney had done his job, I would actually be in, completely, I'd be in a completely fine place right now and might have even had a little, a bit of extra money. Instead, uh, I find myself on the edge of a slippery slope of unpaid federal taxes that could cause me to lose my house in the coming year. Again, when he says lose my house, he's talking about ha having to sell his house. It's not that the IRS are coming in to take the house. That's not what he's saying. He's saying that you'll have to sell the house to please the government, which he should just do. He should just do that. It's it's dumb because the thing that, that I don't understand about it is he said it's a long process, right? Long process. So wouldn't it be wouldn't it make more sense for him to do it start doing it now than wait till the end of the year? Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I also am supposed to be hearing from the state of Washington soon when they when they complete their assessment of how many unpaid business taxes I owe and that's just another thing on top of everything. 
So, so see, this, that's what I mean. It's confusing me. He talks about the back taxes. I was able to pay the back taxes in 2017. Are the 2017 back taxes different from the state tax back tax that he's, he has to pay? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh... I'm really hoping they'll put me on an extended extended installment payback plan, but that's still uncertain. They're they're gonna put them on a payment plan. They have to. I I because the government wants your money. They want your money. They want it. They want. It. They'll do anything to get it. If you tell them, look, just put me on a payment plan. That's probably what they're gonna do. So hospitals, to some degree, do that as well. If, if you go to a hospital and you can't and you don't have insurance, either one of two things happens with doctors. Uh, either the, it comes out from the doctor's uh, paycheck to you know to pay for these things, or it comes from the taxpayer, or they put the uh, patient on a ta a um pay ba a, a payment plan to pay off the uh, operation, and that's really what this is about. So of course the government's gonna put them on a payback plan. It, it's obvious that they're gonna do that. I'd be surprised they wouldn't. So then he said that uh, too long don't read version on the bottom, which again should be at the top of the page, not at the bottom, but okay, Phil, Grandpa Phil, here's the summary version. <laughs> he explains what TLDR means. TLDR, here's the summary version. Like, again, he thinks the viewers are fucking idiots, which, you know, I don't blame him. Thanks for the help uh, of the viewers. I, I am able to pay my 2017 federal taxes and tax attorney in full, but I still owe the 4K for my federal, my first federal tax payment of 2018. And I have nothing to pay that with, so I'm starting the year way behind, and if things on Twitch, YouTube don't improve over the course of the year, I'll find myself in, tr in terrible position where I can be forced to sell my house within a year. If a miracle happened, and I somehow raised the 4K in 9 days, I would be in an incredible better position the f and feel way more positive about things than I do now, since I wouldn't be 4K behind on my taxes from the get-go, and could just focus on the future, but I'm not really expecting said miracle to happen. Aww. Thanks all for your t for your time, and I hope this clears things up. So he says all of this, right? How he's able to pay some, some of the tax, but not all of the tax. Which, uh, really, really makes me scratch my head, because it kind of goes all over the place in this. Because he's talking about, oh, I, have, I owe 4K, guys, I owe 4K. And then... Uh, he's like, well, I, I, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, though, because, you know, they'll, I'll, I'll, just have, I'll just owe penalties and this and that. So it doesn't really sound that bad from reading this. So, okay. So now, remember what I said, that, th that it took him almost the entire day to post this. And then he goes on to talk about Dindin. Had a great day off and a fun belated birthday. By the way, he had a raid on the PUBG stream that gave him like 2,000 views. Didn't go didn't, and just ended the stream there. Uh, because he wanted to spend time with Cat. However, I said to myself, but he's taking the whole day off on Friday to be with her. Like, really? Cat's gonna be like, oh, you streamed a little bit later last night? Ugh. Phil, you're not giving me enough time. You're, he, you're spending an entire day with her. And, like, you know, I'm sure she'd understand. And the fun thing is that he always says, oh, actually, you know what? we're going to get over it because we're going to go over a uh, video. So I should, so I'll uh, stop talking about that for now. But he talks about his fucking celebration. Those at Kazuki Ramen, which I think he spelled the name wrong, who recognized me and wished me a happy birthday. Now, about to, to watch the next, okay. But see, look at this. He goes out to a restaurant. He gets this news. This news that he'll owe four k dollars. Now, now you'd think, you he would he would be like, oh, I should start pinching my pennies. I should probably not go out. Cat, uh, we're gonna have to go home, and uh, we're gonna have to uh, save money and just uh, make pasta for dinner tonight, and and maybe go to the to the or go to the supermarket and just buy something there or something. But he still goes to a restaurant. After getting this information. Okay. Now, let's get to the pre-stream. Everyone's favorite part of the day. Because this will also uh, come in handy. So, I'm going to put on my bullshit headphones. 
let's get started. So now, folks, real quick, it's not going to be a long segment, but I do want to kind of gloss over what I found out about my taxes. In fact, first off, I guess I should do this. All right. Hold on. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Sorry for the extreme close-up face cam here, but I figured I should show you my taxes. Here they are. There's actually a big thing from my tax attorney that I got yesterday. 2017 taxes. Uh, you know, and in here, ridiculous amount. Dude, the, the folder says 2017. It gotta be legit. A lot of documents and information about all oh, breaks. Look at that. Blank pages. But according to Phil, we doctored it. He photoshopped it live on stream when he streamed this and all that. Us filthy detractors was able to get into his Twitch account and fuck around with his face cam and hide the information. However, I'm gonna- I'll say this. I'll say this. I think it's just a, um, it's the camera. I don't think the camera was able to pick up on the, uh, oh, I'm gonna show you. I don't think it's gonna- it would pick up on the, uh, lettering, I don't think. Like, see? Actually, no, you can, you can pick up on the lettering. My camera can pick it up, and it's a fucking Mac. Wow, dude. So, yeah, the- the pages are blank. Never mind. I thought it was his, his uh, quality on his camera was like shit, which actually it could be because didn't he say that that camera does like 1080i or some shit like that? Like it's a low standard def camera. However, even that's doubtful. I think that it would still be able to pick up like just the color of the text at least. And, and look at that. It's blank pages. Now, now, on the other hand, on the flip side... It maybe he uh when he when he was he knew he was gonna do this on stream, maybe he just flipped the pages over so the backs of the paper is facing him. So that could be it too. That could be it too. He could have just done that that way, but then it makes no sense why he just didn't open it like this and he's just kinda like doing doing this. So you make it make it as you will. Breaks it down, it breaks it down into detail and everything. So this literally is like the time where Trump had uh, you know, when he was like talking to the press or whatever of last year, I think. Yeah, last year. Sometime last year. He had this whole cart full of folders of paper. And he's like, oh, look at all these. These are all the things that he did or something like that. It was something. I don't remember what he said he claimed those folders were. But all of the papers were blank. They were empty. So DSP took a page out of the Trump playbook. He's literally the poor man's Trump. Literally, you know, you take all the people, all the streamers, he's basically the Donald Trump of streaming. He wants to make streaming great again. He <laughs> he he uh, speaks as odd as Trump sometimes. Uh, he speaks in a roundabout way. Uh, you know, it's really interesting, a really interesting guy. <laughs> everything about everything that happened over the course of 2017, what I paid, what I owe, the bill that I got from my tax attorney, yada, yada, yada. It's yeah, all yeah, right yeah. in here, all right? Now, I can't show this to you because it has a ridiculous amount of personal information in there. It's got my tax ID number. It's got filing numbers. It's got addresses. It's got all this information that if it leaked, obviously, you know exactly what the trolls would do with it. So I'm not going to show you any of that stuff, all right? Some people have suggested, Phil, scan the documents, block out certain areas, and then upload that blocked to the... It doesn't matter. The bottom line, guys, is it doesn't matter what I show you in here, all right? People will say I lied anyway. The guy who doesn't know how many letters are in the English alphabet is going to be accused of doctoring a photo. The guy who barely edits his videos, the guy who uses generic editing techniques to, for his videos, and has no... Uh, what's the word? Uh, skill. In such things is gonna doctor fucking photos. I doubt he has the expertise for that. Cleo probably knows how to doctor photos better than than him. Cleo, Cleo probably has a better understanding of how doctoring works. I guarantee it. And he says, "Oh, it doesn't matter. The trolls are gonna say I lied anyway. We can say you're lying now. We can literally say you're lying regardless. But you know if." You showing your documents the way that they that was offered 
gonna give you a more of a leg to stand on than that. You know, you can just do that, and then if someone says, oh, you're lying, you doctor the image, you can say, okay, well, whatever, I'm gonna stand by the what I uploaded, that's the truth, take it, take it or leave it. Not giving us any information is not valid. I'm sorry, but that's still not valid to me, because I could just say, guys, I owe $10,000 to the government, you gotta pay up, buddy. Like, that makes no fucking sense. Come on. Come on now. People will say it's doctored. People will say I photoshopped it. People will say it's untrue. It doesn't matter what I show you in here. None of it is relevant because people will just just immediately just make shit up and say that I lied or whatever. And it's not proof of anything anyway. Okay. Uh Maybe that folder is made up. Maybe that folder is full of bullshit. We, we saw it as someone took a screen cap of that where he had blank pages. Literally blank pages that we saw. Showed it to Phil, like, oh, look, they're already doctoring it by not doctoring it at all. And he's just like, look, doctored, Photoshop, dude. Okay. <laughs> um, and it's, that's sad. It's sad that they will, the, the people who criticize me the most are not logical. They're not logical humans. We're not logical. Okay. So you're saying that we're not logical because we're going to, that we would say that you might doctor a photo. Okay, but this makes you look more truthful? No. If anything, this makes you look more sleazy and more shady and more of a liar than just showing us a document. I, like, come on. Come on, Phil. Really? Really? And again, you know, a lot of, a lot of readers might, some do think that these texts are made up, but, but a, a big majority of us believe that these taxes exist. These taxes do exist. However, what is up to debate is really how serious it is. I don't think it's as bad as he's making it out to be. Now, it might not be great either. I, he might not be in a great position either, but... I don't think he's gonna lose the house. He keeps thinking that he keeps saying how he might have to sell the house. I don't see him selling that house anytime soon. Uh, I, I, I'd, I'd be amazed if he had to sell the house. They will literally make conspiracy theories up. They will say whatever they want. It doesn't matter what I show you. None of it will prove anything. How do you know? Right. So whatever. Uh, yeah, that being said, the, uh, um, here's what I found out. Were. All right, here's what I found out. In a nutshell, I. Have enough money raised since the what I had left over from the end of 2017, plus the money that I've raised between you know the earlier months of the year and now, plus some other money that has come in. You know, like, like for example, my parents gave me a birthday gift and stuff like that. All that and everything I raised this last week, all that money is enough to number one pay off the remaining taxes. Okay, that I still have to pay for 2017, which are due at the middle of this month, April 17th. And number two, it's enough to pay my tax attorney fees, all right? My remaining taxes are roughly around like $4,000. They're actually a little bit more. I think it's like 4100 and change. And my tax attorney fees are just under 1000 So tax attorney fee one, pay off the remaining taxes, okay, that I still have to pay for 2017, which are due at the middle of this month, April 17th. And number two, it's enough to pay my tax attorney fees, all right? My remaining taxes are roughly around like $4,000. They're actually a little bit more. I think it's like 4100 and change. 4,100 and change. But in the Twitter longer, it's, like, it's over 4,000. And my tax attorney fees are just under 1,000. So it's about 5,000. Under 1,000? Under, uh, under 1,000? Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, this is, this is something. Under 1,000. Tax are charging me around 1K. Hmm. Uh, Where's, where's the actual, I'm going to minimize that window. Because <laughs> that's what you're supposed to see, dude. <laughs> $1,000 that I owe, but I have enough money to cover all of that. That's about almost exactly what I raised. But in the last few months, you know, plus, like I said, people being gen uh, people who were very generous this last week, um, and in addition, you know, my, my parents helped me and everything. So the good news is, as of last year's taxes, I'm good to go. I'm not going to be considered a default or back, back. You know, that would be terrible. If I couldn't pay the 2017 taxes, that would be the wor absolute worst case scenario. The good news is I'm not in the absolute worst 
case scenario. So thumbs up. I couldn't pay the tw my parents helped me and everything. So the good news is, as of last year's taxes, I'm good to go. I'm not going to be considered a default or back, back. You know, that would be terrible. If I couldn't pay the 2017 taxes, that would be the worst, absolute worst case scenario. So, so you being delinquent or delinquent or in a bad position with the 2018 taxes is, is, not, is not so bad. This is really making me think. <laughs> the good news is I'm not in the absolute worst case scenario. So thumbs up. That's a good thing. Okay. That's a good thing. The bad news is that because I'm self-employed, okay, the government, the feds, expect me to just have magical funds available at all times. They don't actually care about the ups and downs of business. They don't care when your big boom time of the year is or when your slow time of the year is. They just don't give a shit. They expect you every quarter when you're self-employed to pay... Because as El Presidor says, is that the government expects you to put some money away for taxes. Like, he's, and that's the problem with Phil. He, he's the kind of guy that he gets money and he instantly sp spends it like that. It, it's not a good idea. It's really not a good idea. Uh, but he has to get all the new games, dude. But even then, he, he goes to restaurants and all this stuff. Like, like it almost just feels like he shouldn't, just ha he shouldn't have a girlfriend. But, excuse me. But that's the other thing. He's saying, oh, I have to pay all these taxes, but he has, but he was able to move the girlfriend in. And then he's like, well, I might have to sell the house. But you have your girlfriend move in. Okay. Pay them a certain amount of money. That's how taxes work in the United States of America. I know that sounds ludicrous. Because, for example, the early months of 2018 have been bad on YouTube. Really bad. Ad revenue is terrible. Uh, they did pick up slightly in March a little bit. And now it's back to being terrible again. Well, remember, March was a bad month, dude. All right. So, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous that that's how it works because what they really should look at is what did you actually make income-wise and now pay it adjusted for that. That's not how it works. They actually just want you to pay. But they are charging you the amount you made and that's not income-based? You made, like, a lot of fucking money the end of last year. And the ways that these people paid you was through an income revenue. So you're telling me that... So you're telling us, you're telling everyone, that they're not paying you... They're not going through income. Okay. Hey, an estimated tax fee every quarter. So they actually now, now on top of the... Five thousand dollars that I have to pay right now, four thousand one hundred or whatever for my the rest of my twenty seventeen taxes, and the thousand dollars I have to pay to my tax attorney for doing my taxes. They also expect me to pay another four thousand dollars. All right, by April seventeenth for the first tax payment of twenty eighteen. Yeah, I know how stupid that really sounds. It does sound stupid, but that's what they they expect me to not only be paying the back, but now pay up front. That's not how business works, but that's how pet taxes work in the U.S. Okay. So I'm screwed. And the reason I'm screwed is literally after I pay the 2017 taxes and my tax attorney, which I have to pay and I can't have to be overdue on the tax attorney, um, I have no money to pay these new taxes at all. No money. It doesn't work. like You know, it, it, it sucks. And Jerry says... He has no money, but was able to go to a restaurant on Saturday. Now his excuse would be, um, look, that was a birthday celebration, but dude... If you're struggling for money, you're not going to be going to, like, fancy fucking restaurants. Like, that, like, come on, really? Could you do a payment plan? Dude, that's not how it works. Payment plan, you, you do a payment plan for back taxes to pay them over time. These are new taxes accruing over the course of 2018. There's no payment plan for it. So I guess payment plans are back tax exclusive, but I don't know. I don't know, maybe... maybe Certain taxes, you, you can't do payment plans, maybe. All right. They just expect it to be due in the middle of April, no matter what. I don't have it. So, bottom line is... I don't have it. 
Uh, I won't be overdue on my back taxes from last year, but as of my new taxes of this year, I can't pay them. All right. Now, every quarter, they expect me to pay another song. June, September, December. Okay? I'm already... But you, you, he's done that before, though. Last year, he was like, oh, June, I got taxes. September, I got taxes. And December, I got taxes. He did that last year. And and I, I want to go over that, too. Because the months don't add up. He says it's every two months or so, right? June... September. There's more than two months in between. Wait, no. I'm wrong. Never mind. See? See? See, I corrected myself. Like, I said something dumb, and I was like, wait a second. No. I'm wrong. It, there's, there's two months. It's June, July, August, then September. So there's two months in between. I do, But I would think... That it would be in the second month is when the taxes would be. So, like, instead of being in September, it would be in August is when the taxes would be due. Like, June, August, then... Because then from September to December is also two months in between. I I, I just thought it would be in the second month is, is, is how I put it in my mind. But I guess... But I'm wrong, so... Never mind. Uh, forget it. <laughs> Gonna be behind. Okay? It sucks. I don't want to be behind, but I am. There's nothing I can do about it. I have no ma magical funds. I have nothing I can sell. Nothing I can do. I'll just be behind. That's okay, dude. We're gonna focus positively on the streams. Okay. I have no magical funds that I can do to raise tons of money out of nowhere, you know? I can't not pay my other bills. If I don't pay my credit card bills, if I don't pay my loan bills, if I don't pay the electricity and gas, if I don't pay the mortgages, you know what I mean? I get kicked out of my house. I can't operate the business and make money. So I, I have to do what I have to do. Um, <clears throat> this whole thing sucks. Okay. So that being said, um, you know, barring a miracle, which is not going to happen. You know, I'm a realist. And I guess I, I shouldn't say it's not going to happen. I, it's really very incredibly unlikely. Where am I going to get $4,000 between now and the 17th of April? I really don't foresee it happening. Dude, look at this fucking, like, begging. This is, like, subconscious begging. It's, like, begging that he's not th he's not intentionally doing. I don't think he's intentionally, like, trying to beg people to give 4000 but he's just, like, kind of throwing that number around so that his dumbass fans could be like, 4000 we must pay 4000 Here you go, Phil, $4,000. Because he, he, I have a feeling he thinks that Afghanistan or the king are going to come back strong or something and, and start, uh, you know, giving the big tips because... Um, at all. Uh, I'm just going to be behind. And what's going to happen is there's going to be fees and penalties associated with not paying this payment in April like I'm supposed to. Oh, all right. So there's another payment coming up in June. If I can't pay that one, there's going to be more fees, more penalties associated with that. All right. Um, wait, wait, so wait. So, so the tax that he's not that he won't be able to pay for this month. That's going to get penalties and stuff. But they just talk about June. But what about the that tax? H hold on. All right. So there's another payment coming to be behind. And what's going to happen is there's going to be fees and penalties associated with not paying this payment in April like I'm supposed to. All right. So there's another payment coming up in June. If I can't pay that one, there's going to be more fees, more penalties associated with that. All right. So I guess if he doesn't, since he's not paying the April one, he's going to be paying that penalty and late fees in June with that. And then if he doesn't pay that, then it's going to go to that. This sounds like a fucking scam. I mean, that, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, I should say this. That could be very well how it works. I'm not going to necessarily say that he's necessarily wrong with that, but it just seems to work out for him. We still get a lot of money from his fans. You know, it's like kind of moving the goalposts. It's like the taxes are the new Patreon goal. Like, it's not really the Twitch subs anymore. The sub goal is kind of cosmetic, but he has a real goal. And, and it's like a secret goal, hidden goal. And that's where the taxes are. So it's like, this goal is till June. The 4K goal. That he wants to make that much money by June. And then able, and then, and some more to cover that as well. 
And if he doesn't, then, you know, the goal is going to return for August, for September. Really fucking weird. It just, it just sounds weird, because I don't know if that's how that would, how, how Texas would work for him. Like, oh, well, well, since we didn't pay it this month, it's going to, uh, snowball to next month and so on. I, that just, I don't know, that sounds weird to me. Um, it sucks. And then, you know, September, December are the last two payments. Um... Well, I take it back. It's actually not December. I think it's Jan middle of January, like January 15th. Now it gets a little bit weirder with that because from September to December, it was like, okay, you know, fair enough because it's October, November. Just like from June to September, there's, Ju there's June, July and August. Oh, my God. Now it's from September to January. So that's October, November, December. But I guess maybe they moved December to January because of the holidays. There's more holidays in December, I guess. I don't know. So the good news is, guys, this is not all bad news. I just want to let you know. First of all, the good news is it's not worst case scenario. Absolute worst case scenario would have been, oh, I don't even have enough money to pay my back taxes. Now I'm completely fucked. All right. That's not the situation. Thank God. All right. He's able to pay his back taxes. Again, he, he told us that he still doesn't know how much the back taxes are. He told us this. But now he knows the back taxes, and he, and he was able to pay them. But it's three years, but he's able to pay that. All right, that's number one. Number two, um, I have time. And what I mean by that is, even though I'm not going to be paying the taxes immediately when the government wants me to, I still have an opportunity to pay them. All right, the problem is, yes, will there be... Uh, will there be fees? Will there be, you know, late charges? Probably. But usually, typically from what I find out, there's usually only a couple hundred bucks or whatever. It's not like, oh, God, you didn't pay your taxes, so now you owe $10,000 in late fees. That'd be insane. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I mean, this is going to be $100 for, for late fees. It's fine. So, so then why were you, like, freaking out with your fucking fans if you knew that it would be fine? Ooh, man, this is smells like he was just exploiting the situation to get a lot of money to go on a certain vacation. Now, I'm not saying he's going to go to, like, fucking California, but this will fund the fucking staycation in Seattle, which is even funnier, considering how last year when he did, took these times off, there were always some great calamity surrounded them. July. Oh, false copyright strike, guys. Need money. And then he get he gets a lot of money. Then he goes on vacation. Uh, you know, they took one in September, I think. Guys, something bad happened. Now, I can't tell you yet, but something bad happened. Then he takes time off after people rallied some in some way to give him money. And then December... Guys, uh, taxes, the back taxes, got a lot of money, go on vacation in December. And he's gonna go on vacation in May. Yeah, yeah, it did. Oh, and the back taxes also happened, and then Cat moved in. So, it's really starting to smell like something. It's starting to smell like fish. Alright, that's not how it works. So, really, what I'm looking at is the following. Right now... Things are okay on streams, which is great. YouTube sucks right now. I'll be real with you guys. YouTube, okay. it went, went up and was actually pretty good in March for about half the month. And then as soon as April hit, it tanked again. Because what happened was I guess they had a bunch of good advertisers for the second half of March. And then those ad contracts ran out. And now YouTube ad revenue is terrible again. And it's funny because my views have not gone down. My views are still good. My views have stayed consistent. But again, I get penalized for YouTube not doing their jobs and selling ad space. Delightful, right? Um... But Twitch is Why would it be YouTube's responsibility to sell ad space? Shouldn't it be the corporation's responsibility to go to YouTube to buy ad space? It's been pretty consistently decent, all right? You know, I can't complain at all about how things go on Twitch. You guys are very supportive every single day. Um, so at least in that regard, things are, are positive. And what I'm hoping, here's what I'm hoping. I, I gotta, you know, knock on wood and everything. I can keep things going the way that they're going on Twitch to the point where I can grow the channel. Because the channel has been growing. I don't know if you guys are aware. Today, on this Far Cry 5 stream, this is Monday as I'm recording this, he has 410 subs. Maybe a little bit over. He's not going to hit that 450. 
he, he, like, usually I can understand if, if, if yesterday was his day off, let's say, if Sunday was his day off, and then he started streaming today at 4, 410 or 409, or whatever, at the beginning of the stream, I could understand that, oh, well, it's because of the day off or whatever, and then, you know, by the end of the stream, he should go back up to 420, but he, he had a stream yesterday, and he got less subs today. And now it's like the uh, the subs are slowly starting to average. It used to average from 20, 25, 30, like in that range. It averaged, usually. Now it's ranging from 410 to 420, it seems. And it's just going to get lower and lower and lower until Sir Noble, uh, Infinite, Infinite Cucks, and Miss Wagons started skipping subs again. And that's going to happen. And it's always going to keep happening. And also keep in mind, since these payments are in June, September, and just summer, January, he will do fundraising streams. I mean, happy, chill, fun streams. Uh, I've been getting more followers, right? Things have been going good. And when I Followers means shit if you're making money on Twitch. If your concern on Twitch is to make bank and to make money, Followers are just kind of people that are just interested in checking out the stream, but not enough to be regulars. It's really the subs and cheers of are the people that you should be focusing on for growth in that regard. When I play new games, and or when I play a game that's like a competitive game, like for example, Street Fighter, okay? Things go good. I get good views or whatever and good contributions. But the problem is, this has just been a really, really dead year. I mean, this you have fighting games to play. You have fucking Alter Street Fighter Two, which is trash in my opinion, and you have fucking Dragon Ball Fighters. He does want to go back to that because he sucks at the game. He keeps claiming that the online is bad, but how does he know? And I'm tired of people saying like, "Oh, go back to Dragon Ball Fighters." People should start asking him, "How does he know the online is still bad? How does he know?" No one knows. Here, how many high-profile games have I played? Two. You know what I mean? You know, Call uh, God of War coming up in two weeks is pretty much the biggest release of the year so far. Yeah, that's gonna and we're save a third into the year, guys. That's God of War is not gonna fucking save his ass. I'm sorry, it's not. No game is gonna be that. Like he keeps saying that these big games are gonna save his ass. None of them ever do. Oh, you know, he, Far Cry Five could have saved his ass. Didn't do the minute release for that game. Okay. Uh, and then even then. Like, I don't even think that's... It. I think at most, all God of War is going to do is give him cheers. At most. And maybe tips. Pathetic. That's like what happened in 2018 where there were no good games in the whole first third of the year. So if I got no good games, no, no big high-profile stuff, I can't bring in new viewers. And that's what sucks is look at last year. Resident Evil 7. Horizon Zero Dawn. Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's just three games within one major release within the first three months of the year that brought in a lot of attention. And this year there's been Zippo, Zero, Nada, nothing, right? Because games take time to develop. <sighs> Whatever. So that being said, um, what I'm hoping is to get a build. Alright? So what do I mean by a build? I mean... That coming up, for example, we got God of War. Then in, in uh, May, we got State of Decay 2, Detroit Become Human, the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Over the summer, we're actually setting the stage. It looks like there's maybe some pretty high profile stuff coming out over the summer. Keep in mind, over the summer, I'll be doing my Bloodborne Redemption run, which I think a lot of people are very much looking forward to. Okay? And he thinks that's I, also going to save him. It, it, at most, he'll get views. He'll get views, and that's it. He's not gonna get fucking cheers for that. I mean, maybe some some uh, people are gonna like troll cheer him, which is kind of fucking dumb, but it is what it is. You know, got you know why give him money for trolling? It is what and it is. And he returned to Persona Five during the summer. Persona Finished Five. Up, I had no opportunity to do so last year. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, he's gonna do Persona Five. So guy. we'll he's see. Like, I buy we'll it. see how it goes. All right. Um, what I'm hoping, and this is being as positive as I can trying to have a positive outlook on the future that the streaming situation will grow and build and become more and more successful to the point where by the end of the year, especially with all the high profile releases that, you know, come out at the end of the year, guys. 
I think his Twitch channel is just gonna stagnate forever. I, I, I really do think he missed out. He missed opportunities. He actively avoided opportunities. He should have played Monster Hunter World with Cryonic, his boyfriend. He loves Cryonic. I mean, if you saw him on stream yesterday when he was playing World War II, he was like, Oh, oh, Cry is here! Oh, hi, Cry! Cry, oh, man. Oh, Cry is asking me what I wear uh, for deodorant. I, man, I don't know. Cry, oh, boy, Cry. But I guarantee, but if his normal viewers, his normal cucks, go in there and like, Oh, Phil, what, uh, you know, we're, we're, well, my chat's really weird, dude. Okay. Or he would just ignore him, or just be like, Why are you talking about me? Why are you talking about pizza? But if Cryonic was there, and Cryonic's like, oh man, pizza, that's my favorite. <gasps> Cry likes pizza? Wow, pizza! Really, really shows you how two-faced DSP is. He's He treats his fans like shit, wants his fans to worship him, all this stuff. Cryonic? Oh, oh, he'll open his mouth for Cryonic, if you know what I mean. Um... So yeah, I think... So he missed his opportunity to play Monster Hunter World because he wanted to play Shadow of the Colossus, which is whatever. But he's missing opportunities because he refuses to do things he doesn't want to do. He he could have played Street Fighter Five uh, and played with like Venice Fat Man. He could have done a lot, a lot of fucking stuff, but he doesn't want to do that. Instead, he wants to just play the same shit, play do the same thing he does on fucking YouTube. The same fucking shit. That's not going to give get you any fucking follow on Twitch. Twitch, you really, really need to be more um, uh, on your on your feet. You really have to like kind of do whatever you want, be relaxed, and just play what you want as well, and do some creative stuff. You know, you don't have to sit there and be like, okay, I need to do the new releases and all that, because you can kind of get views for whatever. I mean, there are people who watch fucking Metal Gear Survive streams. I'll be able to make up for all this. I'll be making extra money in the latter half of the year, right? That will be more than enough to pay for the taxes I can't pay now. Okay? That's what I'm That's hoping. not going to happen. Is it necessarily going to happen? I have no idea. Like, he might be in a decent position again, but it's not going to happen. But that's what I'm hoping for. And what I'm really hoping for here is focusing in on being positive every day having fun with you guys on stream growing the channel in any way that i can all right within reason all right within give reason. me an example the other night i was playing PUBG after 12 oh oh here we go within reason fucking picky motherfucker uh, i want to go on my terms not on yours i'm sorry when you're streaming and you care about that fucking shit you kind of have to stream on their terms because you're trying to pull in viewers. The viewers are not going to give a fuck about your fucking schedule, buddy. Hours of working on my birthday. My girlfriend was waiting for me in the bedroom saying, come out and, you know, spend some time with me because I'm tired. She was in the shower and... Ooh, ooh, man, I... I, I... Sleep, but I at least want to have some time with you today, you know. And but I'm, you're and... going to spend the whole day the next day. The entire day on Saturday, he was going to spend time with her. You're really telling me Kat's going to be that fucking petty and be like, oh, oh, you didn't spend time with me Friday night? Ugh. Buddy, if she fucking loves you, if you're true soulmates, dude, uh, she should understand that you're going to have a whole day together and have other, plenty of other days to spend time with her. It's not like you're doing this every fucking night. That you're gonna be spe you're gonna be streaming until the odd ends of the night. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Yeah, cat's that petty. Sure she is, buddy. Okay. Ending the stream and then Cryotic, another very popular streamer on Twitch, hosted me and raided me, and a bunch of people jump on the stream, thousand viewers or whatever. And I'm like, well, guys, you know, it's great that you're here. I appreciate it. Sadly, I have to go. When you raid someone or you host someone, you kind of give those viewers no choice. Because, like, let's say I'm I'm ho I'm streaming on Twitch right now, and I have, like, you know, 500 people watching me. Okay. And then I'm like, all right, guys, uh, I'm, let's see who I'm going to host or whatever. And I go down the list. I find someone, uh, Bill Purnell, let's say. I go to his stream. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that. All of you are going to be sitting there, and then all of a sudden I switch to him. You're going to... Those are going to naturally go, and they're, and, you know, they're going to be there. So those people that, that Karai brought, 
probably didn't care or want to see Phil. Cryonic just went to Phil because Cryonic, I honestly believe Cryonic is only like uh, wasting his time with Phil because he thinks he's memeing him. Like, oh, that Phil is such a fucking funny guy. I'm gonna fucking uh, this that and and Cry is a, is kind of like a a, a uh, it is whatever. It is what it is. You know. And people gave me shit for that. Oh my god, Phil. You're in a situation where you need money, and then you had a thousand, more than a thousand people coming in, and you didn't stay around, stick around. You beg for money for, like, years. And they're like, oh, look, Phil, look, there's an opportunity for you to make money. I, I don't want to do that. Oh, but Phil, you, you, you want money, right? Guys, I was streaming all day fucking long. It wasn't like I had just started streaming, right? And then I was like, oh, I'm out of here now. Dude, it's a completely different situation. Yeah, two hours is such a, like, long time. He had a fucking break. He had a fucking break, too. And he can't stream a little bit extra for 2,000 people? Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Cat's gonna dump him immediately if he, if he did that. Situation than that. You know, and by the way, I do want to say shout out to Cryotic. He's a good guy. Every once in a while he comes in, he raids the streams, and it's a positive raid. He does a raid. A positive raid. What the fuck is that? A raid's a fucking raid. And and from what I understood, from what, what people were saying, is that the people in that raid were shitting on Phil. They were kind of like making fun of him. But that's a positive raid, guys. It's only positive because he knows Cryotic and he loves the taste of his dick, but... If it was some random guy reading him, oh, oh, I gotta ban them all. Ban, ban, ban. Okay. Read correctly. As people come in, they're very nice. They're not jerks or anything. They come in and they're mm, actually, you know, okay. very respectful. And it seems like he has a pretty good viewing audience. And, you know, I don't want to in any way disrespect him because I think it was, he He doesn't know when I'm going to stop streaming, you know. Uh, it was a nice thing. How does he not, not know? He knows when you fucking stream. You had to tell him that when you fucking did, um, when you were concerned doing Monster Hunter. You had to have known. Okay, he doesn't know when you're ours. Okay. He did. It was a nice gesture, and I think he did it because it was my birthday. But, you know, I'm in a situation here where, you know, within reason, I've been streaming all day long. I've been streaming all week long. He begs for, for subs and begs for tips, begs for money. One opportunity, he doesn't want to do it because it doesn't, it's not convenient for him. Okay, okay. On stop. It's the end of my birthday. I've had zero moments to spend with my girlfriend all day. You had all day to spend with her on Saturday. That's why you took the day off. Remember? I never understand that. I never understood this whole this concept of like, oh, I can't stream late because I need to spend time with Cat. I've taken an entire day off to spend with Cat. Like, really? Cat's gonna be that petty to be like, oh, you streamed for 20 minutes or 30 minutes and you didn't come see watch TV time with me? Wow, Phil. Uh, I think it's time for a, for a breakup. Like, come on. Like, the thing is, that if he, he, he might bring up Leanna for it. Like, oh, look at Leanna. You know, this happened. But with Leanna, he completely didn't treat her like a fucking person. He treated her like she was like some kind of like, like a hired help. He was, he talked to her like a child. He, he was very condescending to her, to be honest. And, and then with Kat, he's also kind of condescending to her too. But I don't think Kat cares because I don't know what's going on in her head at this point. She has as much personality as a carrot. And I know someone might say, oh, Theo, you know, that's kind of mean. But the thing is, is that I can't know her personality until I see more of her. The videos that she has on her own channel sound boring and dry. Doesn't sound anything interesting. She doesn't sound like she has a personality. I'm not saying she's a bad person. I just don't think she has a personality. I I just think she's kind of dull. And that's not really negative. Like, I'm not saying, like, but it's just, it, you know. Because I've been working all day. Sorry, I'm not going to stay streaming for another hour in the hopes of raising a few shekels or whatever the hell. She might have put you at four, but you have a lot of taxes to pay. And you're asking for a miracle. There's your miracle. Oh, no, that's not convenient for me. So I'm not going to bother with those people giving me money. And I wonder why they never came back. Yeah. GG. It's just, you know what I mean? You know, that's and, and I bet Cry feels... Uh, and you know what? The other thing is that that's kind of shitty on Cry's end as well. Because Cry hosted him. In, uh, with that raid. Uh, and 
you know, thinking, oh, this is gonna be great for Phil, and then Phil just ends the stream. Like, imagine how shitty that must be for Cry and his fans. His fans are like, wow, Cry, thanks a lot. You, you gave us, you, you, um, led us to a guy who just ended the stream. Like, GG, Phil. And Cry doesn't give a fuck. Cry's a little bitch. I'm sorry, Cry, if you're watching this and you get fucking hurt, but this guy sucks your dick all the time, has no integrity, and gives you no respect at all in, in return. GG. Ridiculous. Um, sorry, and it, I made the right decision, by the way, because we had some nice quality time together. It was like, you, you had know what? a whole day to spend with her. Really? I made the right decision. Ended up having a good end of my birthday rather than sitting here on stream like an idiot for an extra hour. Um, yeah, I mean, I made the right decision. Not using, not seizing an opportunity to make extra money to pay these taxes that I, that I made a point to say is a terrible thing and took a whole week to raise funds towards the taxes. I made a good decision to avoid the miracle and to spend time with Kat that I was going to spend time with anyway the next day. Man, what you're so smart, Phil. You're 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 a genius. No point in it. Okay. Um, no point. So that being said, guys, um, this really makes you think how serious and severe these taxes are. It really does. I really don't think these taxes are as bad as he's saying. If they were as bad as he says that they were, he probably would have streamed for those fucking people. But no, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He. Uh, he's not going to talk about taxes anymore. He's going to say that in this video very soon. And he said that oh, it's not a big deal. So clearly this tax situation isn't as big of a deal as he made it out to be. Really, really makes you think. You know, I'm going to do everything I uh, within reason this year that I absolutely can. Uh, to keep the streams positive, to grow the channel, to keep stuff going positive. All right. And hopefully things will work out well. What I'm hoping is by the end of this year, like I said, we'll see a big uptick with all the big new releases uptick. coming out. Is it uptick? You know, we'll see a lot more people coming in and Whatever. watching my stuff and contributing. Ooh. It'll be great. And hopefully by the end of this year, your things keep growing the way that they have been. Because, you know, Twitch is the only place I'm growing. YouTube, pff, forget it. YouTube's a dead horse. But Twitch, there's a lot of positivity and a lot of positive things coming out. A lot of positivity. He doesn't have 420 subs today. At least uh, last time I checked. Out of it. All right. So, that's what I'm hoping for, is by the end of the year, things go good, and then, you know, January 15th or whatever, any remaining taxes I wasn't able to pay, I can pay them, okay? Will it actually go that way for us? By the end of the year, things go good, and then, you know, January 15th or whatever, any remaining taxes I wasn't able to pay, I can pay them, okay? Will it actually go that way? I have no idea. I it will go that way. I guarantee it will. I guarantee it's going to work out. Or what's going to happen is that he's going to move the goalpost again. Because he said that last year, oh, if I don't be able to pay, I'm going to have to sell the house, dude. Okay. Oh, I paid it. It's all good. Oh, the, oh, the guys, April's coming. I, I, I might have to sell the house. Okay, April comes. Well, guys, I should be fine. I should be good. Chris is averted, guys. It, it's not a great situation, but, you know, it's, it's pretty good. I, I can handle it, guys. But the end of the year is gonna matter. This fucking thing. I this is just him trying to force his fans to make up for the loss of revenue he lost since leaving Machinima. Leaving Machinima was a fucking mistake. He and he knows it. He knows he should have kept his fat face shut during that whole situation in 2017. But no, yeah, he had to speak up and he had to uh, give Machinima the ultimatum of either dropping his ass. Or to, or to uh, do what he wants, and they chose to drop his ass. He knows he fucked up. GG. I honestly have no idea, you know. Um, It might not. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I think what I need to do is stay positive, you know. Should I really sit here and every day be worried in the back of my head that I can't pay my taxes this year by the end of the year, now I have to sell my house in order to pay them? I mean, no. I mean, yeah, it's always going to be nagging at me, but me sitting... No, but yeah here harping on it every day isn't beneficial to you isn't beneficial oh oh now it's not beneficial now it's not but last week and the week before and the week before that and throughout the whole beginning of this year it was beneficial and you had to do it now it's not beneficial 
Now, there's a, a theory going out saying that Twitch told him about this and said to come down with the fucking begging. Now, now I would believe that. However, he had two suspensions, and the first suspension was about the fundraiser. And Phil had to have asked them about, what can I do about, about money, dude? I need to pay my bills. And they probably told him, oh, you could, you know, use tips or subs as a, as a replacement or whatever. He probably asked the same question come when uh, he got suspended a second time. So I'm not really sure if this is in response to something that Twitch has asked for. I, I don't think it is. But it could be. It could very well be. Uh, or that he noticed that after the uh, the flop of the birthday week, because that was a flop, he did not make anything astounding. The last tally was like 400 something dollars, which is okay, but it's probably not what he wanted. Uh, and that's probably why he's like, you know what, I guess I should stop talking about taxes, because he probably realized that's probably what killed that fucking uh, participation right there, and he's probably never going to recover from that. So, uh, GG, Philip. To me, it doesn't benefit anyone. What I really need to do is, do, at this point, now that I know the situation I'm in moving forward, I just need to focus on the positive and hope for the best, you know? And the bottom line is you guys have been really, really supportive, and you know, every once in a while, some really awesome thing happens. Someone comes in and leaves a giant tip, and I'm like, wow, you know, I certainly wasn't expecting that, and that brightens my day up and makes me feel a little better. And I, I undoubtedly, those things will probably keep happening. Remember, he loves streaming because they made people feel positive, but now he's just fine. He's happy doing, uh, uh, Dude, he only gets happy when he gets money, dude. And that's awesome. And thank you guys who have stuck in. And I know it's very, very tiring for those of you who are here every day. And you got to hear about a tax situation. You got to hear about tips. You got to hear about... You don't want to hear that shit. You know, you're just here to hang out and have fun. But I, the reason I had to do it very, very matter-of-factly is because I had to do as good as I can. If I didn't even raise enough to pay my back taxes, okay, this would have been an incredibly dire situation. As in, I probably would have had to put my house on the market now. Thank God that's not the situation. All right. Well, Thank God. well, it's very, how convenient when a deadline is coming up where he tells his fans, oh, I might have to sell the house if I don't pay this. He gets a lot of money. Okay, guys, I can keep the house. But the end of this year will be the, uh, the, uh, the judgment day of if I could, if I have to sell the house. How much you want to bet he's not he's not going to be able to, that he'll be able to keep the house by the end of the year? How much you want to bet next year he'll be in that fucking house? He's using his fucking house to get his fucking fans to sub, and it really makes me want to beg. Well, not maybe not beg, but just ask. See what happens if his fans did not give him big tips and did not tip him and not give him enough. You know, maybe give him some cheers. Okay, okay, whatever, but. What would happen? I really want to know because it just seems every time when, when the threat of selling the house comes up, he never has to sell the house. It's really as if he conditioned his fans to, when they hear I might have to sell the house, to suddenly open their wallets. It's like the, Pel the Pavlov effect. But instead of with the bell, it's sell the house. And then they're like, oh, sell the house? <sighs> okay, I'll fill and get my fucking wallet out. Okay. My wallet is fucking out. I'm gonna get my fucking card, read the card number, put that in the fucking tip screen. But that being said, um, it's certainly we're not in a great situation here either. It's kind of like, it's certainly not the worst case scenario, but it's certainly not the best case scenario. It's just kind of middle of the road. Okay, let's see how things go this year. All right, guys? That's like every year. Last year, you was... Oh, we'll see how it goes this year. I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 can't, I, I can't make money on YouTube as much anymore, dude. We'll see how it goes. 2018. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. It'll be ever ongoing. He'll never, never be in a steady position. Keep giving him money, fans. Keep giving him money. I, I'm... Sh I... So there you go. Um, Thank you, guys. There very you much go. for being patient. And by the way, this is it. I'm not going to be bringing this up anymore. This is not going to be a major topic of discussion. Only if something crazy happens where I may need your help. Let's say, for example, I don't know. I he owes over $4,000. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. There's no need. Nah, you don't have to hear about my taxes. No. 
I'm never gonna talk about it again. I just only owe over four thousand for these taxes coming up. I don't need to 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 beg for money. No. No. Maybe in June. Maybe in the future I will, but not today. Okay. Break my leg. And now I get a a, a freaking hospital bill for ten thousand dollars that I can't pay. Um, you know, then I would probably bring something up. But outside of that, I think we're just gonna proceed forward business as usual. All right. There's no reason for me to be harping on this anymore. Tax season is now over. Tax season um, is now over. And, you know, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep things going the way that they've been going. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. There you go. Sound good. Now, obviously, uh, at the end of the year, you know, once I see how things are going, if you guys would like an update, I will let you know. I mean, that would be the time, I think. At the end of the year... The after end of the year is the only time I'll ever hear about these taxes again. Really, really makes you think. Okay. G G. We covered all the new releases, and things are probably hype and exciting and positive. Then maybe I'll bring it back up as a subject. Um, but here's what I'm going to be. I'm gonna Wait, be very I mean, that would be the time, I think. At the end of the year, after we covered all the new releases, and things are probably hype and exciting and positive, then maybe I'll bring it back up as a subject. Um, you hear that? You hear that? He's gonna bring it up when there's hype and new game releases. He wants to exploit people's... He's gonna say it during the Christmas season to exploit people's giving fucking feelings. Guys, that's so fucking shitty. He, he is such a fucking asshole. He is going to bring it up during Christmas time, during the holiday season, where people are, like, in a giving mood and all this stuff, and exploit that giving mood to get money. Amazing. Oh my god, what a fucking asshole. Oh, when things are positive, and there's a lot of games coming out. Man, I wonder why he wants to give us an update then. I wonder why. What a fucking sleazy fuck. Get bent. But here's what I'm going to be. I'm gonna be very matter of fact, I'm going to ask you guys. Is please don't bring it up anymore. I'm going to do my best to not bring it up. Please do not bring it up anymore. I've not talked about it on this pre-stream. I've done a twit longer about it. It's out there. It's public. That's it. There's I wonder no why he wants to bury it so fast. It's almost as if he was lying to people about these tax about the tax situation. I wonder why he wants to stop talking about it. Harping on it, um, you know. And please don't go. I know. I'm gonna beat Phil. I'm gonna cheer and ask him about his taxes. I'm just not gonna answer it. I'm gonna be like, great, great. If you want the information, I already talked talked about it. Go look back. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother with it anymore. There's no point. You guys don't want to know about it. You don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I didn't want to talk okay. about it to begin with. This whole thing. He couldn't stop talking about it, but now he wants to stop talking about it. Okay. It's been a nightmare. Really, seriously. Like, this was a nightmare scenario. It was 4,000. He wants to stop talking about it. You guys it. remember, things were very positive. Things were going great during the summer months. And we were heading Great right to during the summer months? Did I, did, I, 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 I talked about this in another video, but did I just slip into another dimension? Because. He was begging for money during the summer. Throughout the entire summer, he was begging for money. And he's saying that, that last summer was good. Okay, sure it was. The hardcore gaming season and things were great. And then I got this big bombshell that I owed back state taxes that just... During the hardcore gaming season, things were great. You got the information in September. The hardcore gaming season didn't start until, like, October. What? Ooh, boy. It's caused this whole rolling domino effect of, of problems with my taxes to happen and it was like the biggest nightmare ever because i never once fathomed that my my tax attorney in connecticut was screwing me over never but he was um not intentionally you though. know and you kind of got to shrug and be like this sucks but what can you do so it's been a nightmare since then since ever since i revealed this to you guys what was it november it's been an ongoing issue for five straight months where i keep mentioning it because it's just so shitty uh but at this point you know what i mean Barring a $4,000 miracle in the next nine days. I wonder if this means he won't do any fundraisers. Hmm. Which, in, I'm a realist. It's probably not going to happen. I'm a realist. It's incredibly unlikely. I don't know how the hell I would raise that much money in a short amount of time. Um, I'm just going to be in the situation I'm in. I'll keep working my ass off here on stream every day for you guys. And let's just have fun and see what, what, what the future holds. 
Sounds good, guys? <clears throat> All right, that's it. Um, actually, let me go put down my tax stuff back on my desk, and I'm going to turn off my speakers while I do this. Hold on. What a load of shit. Phew. All right, guys. So, very good. Uh, the Aston Martin. Um, see? But I have a plug segment, and that's where I leave the plugs. All right? This is what, I mean, I, I think every streamer should do that, and I know a lot don't. But that's what I'm all about. Once the gameplay starts, it's all about gameplay and interacting with you. But there's ser literally videos... Of him talking about tipping him. Tipping him. And oh, guys, will help you with the tag situation. Really help appreciate the tips during gameplay. Now, now what you could argue would be is are is are these moments that he recorded? Good question. I don't know, because I don't watch GSP gaming, so I can't tell you the videos you upload because that's a lot of fucking videos to ship through. I'm not gonna fucking do that. But I guarantee he said it during gameplay. That's a load of crap. He knows it. His hardcore fans know, but they won't admit it. You guys, it's not about plugs, 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 help me, help me, money, money, money. But Shit. even then, even then, that aside, that aside, when you are constantly in pre-stream saying, guys, I need money, I need a miracle, blah, 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 you get all these viewers, that's what he's saying, and not that, oh, well, you... You bring up during gameplay. That's not the heart of the fucking argument. Let's hear that again. You haven't noticed the reason people. All right, guys. So every stream you bring up taxes. That's right, Aston Martin. But when do I bring up taxes? I bring them up on the pre-stream. Sure, twenty-five bits. He said the reason people gave you crap about leaving when you were rated is because every stream you bring up taxes. That's right, Aston. Notice that that he said people are upset that you that you left while you were being rated was because you bring up tax every stream. Not. It has nothing to do when he brings up taxes. That wasn't the question. That wasn't the statement he said. But Phil is avoiding the entire point because he knows he's he's wrong. To Martin, but when do I bring up taxes? I bring them up on the pre-stream, and that's it. If you haven't noticed, when I play the game, it's about so, the games. One, he's wrong about how about about what he just said because he does. Talk about his fucking plugs during gameplay. That that's a load of shit right there. Secondly, the the cheer wasn't about when he was bringing up taxes or when he was talking about it. It was just saying every stream you talk about taxes and you uh, come alluding to. See, this is the thing with Phil. If you're gonna cheer and 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 bring this stuff up, you really have to talk to Phil like he's a fucking retard because you you can't really uh, expect him. To understand what you're saying, because he just he, he he needs to be spelled out like a child. So you have to say, well, the reason why people were giving you shit about leaving a raid was because in pre-streams you keep saying how you need money and need people to participate, and you get the you get this huge number of viewers coming into your to your stream. Be a perfect opportunity for you to make to make that up, and you decided to leave, and you. And you decided to end the stream thinking that it's more important that you spend time while you were begging, while you were uh, asking people for money and during pre-streams. You really have to kind of hold his hand to get to that, to, to, for him to understand that point. Because he's not that bright. He's a, he is very thick when it comes to that. You really have to spell it out. You can't just say, you can't, if you try to shorten what you're saying, he's not going to understand it. He's going to assume that whatever part of your statement he can easily, you know, weasel his way around. He's going to do that, so. If someone asks me with a cheer about it, then yeah, I'll address it. But I have a plug segment, and that's where I leave the plugs, all right? This is what, I mean, I think every streamer should do that, and I know a lot don't, but that's what I'm all about. Once the gameplay starts, it's all about gameplay and interacting with you guys. It's not about plugs, 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 help me, help me, money, 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 and shit like that. It's not. Which is funny, because he, he and, and this happened literally the day before, like, on Friday, the day of his birthday, he literally was saying, talking about paying, giving him money during the gameplay. Um, I've been already working, streaming on my birthday. All right, for roughly twelve hours, I had about a ninety-minute break to quickly have a dinner, and then I rushed right I back to stream. Dinner. Um, I was tired, 
and I hadn't spent any time with my girlfriend during the day. You have an entire day off to spend time with your girlfriend, and the amount of time you're working is the same amount of time. Remember when he said that he aligned his work schedule with cats? Again, it's almost as if Cat has more than one day off, as if he had three days off. Really makes you think. So if you can't understand the fact that at the very end of a tail end of 12 hours of work is not a good time for a raid to happen and for me to stream longer when my girlfriend is waiting for me, uh, you are just immature. I don't You're know what to tell you. You're immature to care about my taxes and be concerned and, and think that I, I could spend time streaming when I was going to spend the time, the whole day with my girlfriend the next day. That's, that's immature. That's dumb of you. Really? I think it's more immature to demand to, to, for, I think it's immature of Cat to be that petty, to be like, oh, you didn't, you spent an extra hour streaming and not spending time with me. Wow, Phil, I think we're going to break up. She's really going to say that. Really. Your soulmate is gonna say that to you. You decide to stream a little bit longer. Okay, I'm sure that's legit. Okay, Phil. You're uneducated and you're immature if that's the case because there are things far more important than getting in an extra half an hour to make a couple extra bucks. Yeah. And when because, you finally realize Because it's really not like you you made you made it sound as if every dollar counts, right? No, that for him to be this picky on how to get money really does not convince me that he's struggling. Is that in life, you will be far ahead of the curve. Apparently, you're not yet. Wow. All right. What a great All right, guy. guys. Thanks for being patient. I know it was a longer pre-stream. I hope that now um, you guys are now more in the know of the situation. I've been completely transparent with you guys. All right. One final thing, because someone did ask that. Uh, someone did ask something, and I want to clarify. Someone said, well, Phil, everything you just talked about, okay, you talked about federal taxes. What about the state tax situation? I don't know anything about it. The state of Washington is still in the process of doing an audit, and they're supposed to tell me the assessment of what the state back taxes are that I owe. Uh, they said it would either be Wait, late March or April. But he said he, he paid his, his back taxes, but now he has to owe more back taxes. Okay. April. Here we are, eight days into April. I've heard not a peep from them. OK, eventually sometime this year, they're going to come to me and they're going to say, here's what you owe. But what I'm hoping is that they'll work with me and they, since those are back taxes, will work out a payment plan. OK, so if it's a payment plan of you know hundreds of dollars a month, that I could do. That's easy. If they tell me, oh, you owe thousands of dollars due immediately, it, it, I, they're screwed. I'm just going to tell them, listen, you're not going to get your money. So you better work with me or else, you know, I can't I can't afford it. Wait, okay? what? If they tell me, oh, you owe thousands of dollars due immediately it, it, I, they're screwed i'm just gonna tell them listen you're not gonna get your money so you better work with me or else you know you better work with me you're gonna tell the government that really really i i want this to be televised at this point really you're gonna, the government's gonna be like oh we want this much well you gotta work with me because i don't have the money okay yeah, I'm sure that's gonna work out. I'm sure that's gonna work out. I'm sure I'm sure the government always, 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 all the time, bends over for the for their citizens. I'm sure that's what happens. Okay. Yeah, Phil. They're they're gonna listen here they're like, oh, we should work with Phil because he has a point. He doesn't have the money. They're not gonna give a fuck. They might put you on a payment plan for it, but yeah, they're gonna work with you. Okay. Coming up, coming up soon. Uh, he's gonna the uh, the great co-op stream, DSP and the Washington government. <laughs> yeah, they gotta work with him, all right. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't afford it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> work so, with me. There you go. Guys. No, look, listen. <laughs> all right. Oh my god. That, Thank that you was... guys. Oh, by the way, here we go. Bionitude just says something really cool. Oh, Bionitude. This guy. This guy. He has to be a troll. He fucking told Phil that we take all the information off Phil and he posted the Chris Chan wiki. So this guy has to be a troll. But he says, the damn dirty trolls are so transparent. DSP is obsessed about money and only cares about tips. Then Phil leaves early to go 
to uh, to go to to go adult things IRL. OMG, DSP didn't sit stay on for another thirty minutes to wring more money out of his raiders. Not hip hypocritical at, at all. Damn dirty trolls. Okay. Uh, since Biochu brought this up, I'm gonna address this this thing. I'm not gonna really chill on Biochu because I have a feeling he's he's fucking baiting. He's baiting uh fucking DSP. He's kind of a a troll cuck. But the thing is, is that he is obsessed with money and tips. The way he interact, just like how he interacts with his fucking fans. There you go. Him leaving early to do to hang out with Cat doesn't really disprove that. It uh. Because the other thing that, that we claim DSP does, and he has yet to show otherwise, is he cares more about himself. He's more about him, about Phil. DSP, only, the only thing he cares a little bit more than money is his own personal gratification. And there you go. He only left early and ended the stream then and didn't give a shit about the Raiders because... <laughs> it's like I'm talking about the football team, the Raiders, but... uh. He wanted to spend time with Cat because lay around time, lazy time, Netflix time is more important. If you give him the opportunity to either work for money or to sit around on a sofa with his slave to watch Netflix, he's gonna take that over the money. Easy. Unless the money is very tempting. Unless it, unless he knows for a fact these raiders were gonna give him a lot of money, a lot of tips, maybe he would have stayed, but they weren't even really tipping him or anything during the whole whole thing so it's not really hypocritical at all because it's both cases are correct uh people are, and also the whole thing about the omg dsp didn't stay for another 30 minutes was also a sentiment shared by his fans well i want to read he says Pretty the trolls cool. are so transparent first they say dsp is obsessed about money he only cares about tips but then when he leaves early to go do adult things in real life early. he like left on fucking time he didn't leave early. He left at the same time he would usually end the stream. That's not early. Okay. When he's being raided on stream, they complain that Phil didn't stay for another 30 minutes to make more money. Because I mean, you care about fucking money. You... Because the thing is, is that... It, let's say... Let's say... If he didn't have this tax situation, he did not make... He did not do this fundraising goal. He did not do this fundraising nonsense. He he didn't do any of, the, of his begging, let's say. Let's say he was... This is a normal streamer like he used to be. Okay, let's say that he's a streaming just, you know, as usual. And he gets raided and then says, Oh, well, I'm just going to go off and, and hang out with Cat. No one prob no one would give him shit. No one would give him shit about it. I guarantee that. Because it's just... I mean, the most that he would have gotten was that he, he kind of lost an opportunity to gain... To get organic growth on Twitch because he begs for growth. But, this was during a time where he was begging fans for money. He did a, a, a special hangout fun time stream, which was supposed to be a fun raising stream. And he gets this huge amount of people that could be potential fundraising people. And he just ends the stream. So, in this particular situation, it was really dumb of Phil to leave this opportunity to get a lot of money. There you go. <laughs> How hypocritical is that? Yeah, you're right. It's 100% okay. hypocritical. And that's why I don't care anymore. That's why the people, oh, show us scans of your taxes. Get the fuck out of here. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not a complete idiot. Yeah, I'm not going to show you proof of my taxes. You just have to trust me, dude. Because I'm so trustworthy. Okay. Like, I don't realize that you guys are just trying to get information, personal information about me to hurt me even further. I'm not a moron. So you, you scanning your tax information, uh, is um censoring over sensitive information is going to hurt you okay now my theory my theo theory about this is i don't think he knows how to do any of that i don't think he knows like if he scans it i don't think he'd understand how to censor information and you might be saying theo that's very easy anyone can do it I want you to remember two things. One, he doesn't know how many letters are in the Amer in the English alphabet. Just remember that. Secondly, he doesn't know how to Google search. So there you go. And anything Sound I show good? you guys, you'll just be hypocritical and you'll spin it and say, I made it up anyway. There's no point. So there you go.
All right. There you go. Hold on a second. It's honestly refreshing that now I don't have to just constantly be talking about this shit anymore. Really. Okay. From now on, I'll, you know, I'll let you know the ways to contribute on the plugs. And that's it. I'm not going to be mentioning tax. Ways to contribute. Okay. Taxes or nothing like that. I'm done with it. There's no reason for me to be bringing it up. You know what I mean? You guys now know the situation. You know, could a miracle happen within nine days? Incredibly unlikely. And all I can really do is stay positive and keep working at it and do what I can and see what happens at the end of this year. Okay, guys? Okay. All right. And AES0411 cheered. Says, I think it would be a good idea to not address trolls from this point onward. If they make a comment, ignore them or boot them. No need to get suspended again. Well, here's the thing. I'm not going to insult people or anything like that. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to insult them. He calls immature. And I think he, and I'm pretty sure he also calls us brain dead. Okay. I'm not going to fly off the handle and start insulting people left and right anymore or bringing stuff up like that. There's no point. If someone's trolling, I've been told directly by Twitch, if someone trolls me, I can call them an idiot or a jerk or whatever I need to do and just kick them. That's okay. It's when you bring up the things that are going to violate the terms of service, like someone's personal appearance and stuff like that. Okay. I'm not going to insult them, but I can insult them. Okay. Like that. That's what's going to get into the realm of bad timing or ba bad uh, situation with moderation and the like here. So uh, it'll be all right. No worries. No worries. Okay. All right, everyone. That's it for this video. It's been fun uh, to show this. It's been great. It's been great. Fun, right? Uh, see you guys in the next video. And I think I will have an art thing at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that, too. It's going to be a fun one. I feel it. I feel it in my heart and my bones. But uh, it's been great. See you when I see you next time, my friends. And remember, the bun is always watching and always caring and always loving. See you next time. Now, I know you guys were thinking that... Oh, the video's over. Oh, we're gonna watch the nice Canvas video and, you know, wipe our hands of this shit, but there's a bonus. There's a bonus for you guys. Uh, you guys just deserved it, by the way. So, we have this form here, this form account that no longer exists, by the way. This got deleted. And I'm gonna go over the Mr. Hustle video because there was stuff that DSP revealed last night that was kind of interesting to talk about. So, uh, you'll get all that in this video, so... You know, that one hour video I had is now going to be even longer. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Nothing I could do. So, Pepsi Man, which I am willing to bet he's banned by, at this point, makes this post. Uh, I think this is either before or during the birthday horror, horror special, but I don't know. Who knows? So we're going to read this uh, as best as I can. I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as I can. So let's get started. So what I'm going to post, you can take how you want, mostly because it will be gone within a matter of hours, but of but also because skepticism is a natural response. However, there are three questions I want to ask you that I want you to ask yourselves. He is right. However, it didn't take him a few hours. It took him a few days, I believe, to get to get this thread deleted, which is surprising. I I was expecting to be deleted within that day that he made it, but it was uh, it was it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so the questions he wants us to ask is, if DSP makes this much, why does he need your help? If he really is a dead, if if he really is dead greater than what he's making according to these stats, can it really be solved by what he is doing, or what the government, or what the government just sees his assets? Uh, most importantly, I think, anyway, is DSP willing to offer the same kind of decency and respect you offer him? Okay, there's there's a few things about these questions. I I, that, that, I read these and I was like, oh, this is a troll bait. This is going to be like, you know, this is a probably a, a detractor dude making this uh, thread. But I, I think, you know, some of, these, some, some of these questions are pretty fair. So let's go over the first one. If DSP makes this much, why does he need your help? Well, the way that DSP tells it is, well, the money I get needs to go to bills, and unless I have no money, 
for these taxes. I need your help, dude. And the thing is, is that I'm willing, I'll be a little bit fair with these, but I'll be a little bit fair, and say that he probably does need at least some of his fans' help. However, with, oh, the taxes are now going to be higher because of your health, and I, I think he, you know, right there is how to, how to help him is to not give him as much money as he demands, because if you give him, let's say that he demands his fans to give him $4,000, let's say he gets that $4,000 he needs for, uh, for these taxes, what's going to end up happening is that he's going to owe more next year, and it's going to be a snowballing effect that his fans will always owe more for Phil. And the thing is that Phil should just not do that. He should just do. He should just try to open as many revenues and just put some money away for taxes, as a lot of people said. Sure, you know you have to put money towards the bills, but you know you got to take like money and put it to. You know, put it aside. And that's the issue with his structure and how he does his business. He does day one game reviews, um, playthroughs. He buys every new game. He needs to stop that. And he needs to find something that he can use to go back to consistently. Now, unfortunately, that could be PUBG. PUBG could be that game. Unfortunately. I know. I, everyone hates that fucking game. Uh, I mean, I, I I would be more willing to even sit through Elder Street Fighter 2. I mean, I'm kind of hoping the 30th anniversary collection is good enough for him to continue playing that, because I would like to see him cycle through uh, Cheese Fighter 2, Third Strike, and Alpha 3. I would like to see him cycle through those games. I would much rather see that. That seems more interesting than what he's doing now, and I think that's what he should be focusing on. I think... Unfortunately for him, he should he should find a game for him to kind of hone in on and stream that because that could potentially save him more money for the time being, and then he could start laying the groundwork to go back to what he was. Right now, it's just not benefiting him, and it's going to be bleeding more than uh, saving. It's like you you have a scab, and you put a bandaid over it, right? For DSP, it's like, well, I'm gonna peel peel the bandit off, uh, pick up the scab off, so then the bleed, the bleeding continues. Have deal with that for a while, then put the bandaid again, then peel the bandaid off and pick up the scab again. It's kind of like that. I, I don't know. That, that doesn't really make much sense, I guess. Oops. But you know what I mean. He, he can't afford to do these big diverse games anymore. It's just it, it it's just not profitable for him, and he's bleeding more money than he's making. Or he doesn't need to take as many free game offers as possible and just do that. Uh, then the other one, if he really is in debt, greater than what he's making, according to these stats, can it be really? Can it really be solved by what he's doing, or would the government just seize his assets? The government's not gonna really seize his assets immediately. That's probably gonna be like like last resort. Like if DSP cannot uh, keep up with these payments at some point. The government might send re uh, repo men to his house. He might do that. But they're probably going to put him on a payment plan. They're probably going to find some way to get him to pay these off because the government wants your money and they don't want to do anything more than that. They just want your money. Uh, then lastly, most importantly, I think anyway, is, is DSP willing to offer the same? Of course not. Of course, of course not. Of course, he's not gonna give a shit about his, his fans. He doesn't give a fuck. He only cares about himself. You know, someone asked him about doing charity streams. He's like, "No, I can't do charity streams. I need to pay the bills." And he's just not getting that. If he does a charity stream, he could put the money he makes during that stream to that charity of his choice, and then you know that could give him more revenue because people could be like, "Wow, he's a cool guy," and and start supporting him on Patreon. Or, or whatever. And just the other thing is that I think his sub goals are fucking him over more so than ever. I talked about this before. I'm going to get into that in a different video because otherwise it'll be a very long video. So we'll uh, spare it. I'll go into the Patreon stuff in another video. And then here it says This is how you show transparency. The following post is an audit of DSP's recent earnings on Twitch. These tests are readily available through Twitch chat logs, so nothing underhanded was done. To do this, just a lot of time taken by someone other than myself. I just felt it important to share, considering the effort. Now, I'm willing to bet, I think these are from Eddie. 
Uh, and, and again, I've said this before, you can get this information from just watching uh, DSP's chat. You can calculate it through the pop-ups, uh, shout-outs, etc. You can get these numbers easily. It, it's not like, you know, someone's doing some... Like, Social Blade through YouTube channel, okay, fair enough, that might have some margin of error. Fair enough, but with Cheers and stuff going through Twitch, you can kind of document it pretty pretty fairly. Now... Uh, I, I kind of don't want to go through each number, but I, I, I don't think he gives us a straight number, which he should do. He should post the number. Uh, hopefully he does. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, let's see, nine dollars, uh, so, ooh. Down to $500 plus in cheers, $80 in tips, and from February, although any of these tips... During the end of March, suspension are missed. Now only the sixth best month um, behind November, uh, November, February, and even September. So, then here, it says 3,900. So this is the end of March 2018. He has 284 subs at this point, I guess. Or he gained 284, something like that, whatever. Uh, he gets totally, I guess this is the total right here, uh, $3,095.34. Uh, so there you go. Pepsi Man then concludes the final post. There is something that I want to add before my short time is up here. I've been looking, uh, through some of the other posts here on the forums, and it's somewhat baffling reading them. Older posts are not as reserved. It seemingly aren't as severe, but still are strange. What is what is seen most isn't free discussion and discourse, but recent, but re reticent questions and statements, as though waiting for either praise or a hammer to drop. There is there isn't discussion. There isn't complete uh, agreement, silence, or shaming accompanied by dogpiling until the thread comes to a halt or is shut down. The most frequent that is recently discussed is shutting down the detractors, and there is and there is more ways to deal with negativity than completely silencing or shutting down anyone or or thing that doesn't agree with the whole. If an idea can't stand up to scrutiny, berating statements and arguments, then they aren't bad ideas. If you completely shut out the out and choose not to discuss or have the discourse, you're pretty much saying that your ideas or arguments can't stand up. If DSP doesn't like the Nintendo Labo, that doesn't mean you have to do it. You have to, in fact, you you could love the idea. If he doesn't like a certain game or genre, that doesn't mean you have to, you have to, in fact, you could love them and should freely discuss them in the chat and in this forum. That's what these things should be for. Now, the forums, to be honest, to be fair, they don't really delete game uh, game threads. Like, you can make a, a thread about Monster Hunter World and it'll still be up. I mean, it's not that ridiculous. It's just usually what I've noticed, get the instant ban hammer, instantly, is really when you start talking about how DSP streams, if you start um, replying to his arguments, if you start, you know, whatever. If DSP says, Monster Hunter World sucks, it's a piece of shit, fuck you, and you make a thread saying, I think you're wrong, DSP, Monster Hunter World is a great game, and this and that, you're gonna get banned for that. But if you say, I love Monster Hunter World, and it's a fun game, and it's great, then that thread's gonna be fine. It's only when you really start to make old jabs at DSP, it could be, like, the lightest fucking jab. Or just any suggestion. Uh, I had two threads that I made. Or, or one of them was a post, maybe, where I literally walked him through how he could do a green screen with his current green screen. Like, oh, you could just fold the ends, or you could just cut them up, and you could put them up. And I walked him through this most but, uh, polite way imaginable. And I wasn't insulting him. I said, look, you don't have to use it. You could just either take it or leave it or whatever. This is how you do it. He deleted the, th he deleted the post, and I think he banned the account as well. I don't know why. The, the the post was the most like polite post you could think of. Gets deleted. I then make another thread on another account saying I think and this was last year by the way, saying 
that, oh, your commentary could be a little bit better. You should just, you know, maybe try toning down the obnoxious noise noise effects and just kind of talk and, you know, maybe you should find ways to not have uh, burping into the mic or whatever. Something, something like that, that gets deleted, I get banned. That kind of stuff gets you banned. Saying, I like Monster in the World, or I like this, or I like that, doesn't. But if you approach DSP's opinion, and you, and you bring DSP up, you're going to get banned. You cannot talk about DSP on his forums. Which is fucking ridiculous when the forums are about him. The only way you can talk about DSP is if you're sucking his dick. Okay. Now, I do remember this one time. And 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 I love and this I I I it's and it's it's uh, ingrained in my mind. Uh, I, there was a Mo a Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite thread, and I and I got and I got to an argument with a few people about that game. I was like, yeah, you know, it's kind of, it's fun for him to play. I I I think it's fun to watch, whatever. And then people started arguing with me, saying like, it's not fun to watch. It's terrible. The combo system is god awful. Whatever. I don't remember, I don't even remember the argument, but I was just, you know talking, and then. DSP comes and says, oh, excuse me, uh, I, I think you're an asshole, uh, Theo, you know, you are starting fights and, and you're acting surprised that people treat you like shit, come on. And I was like, I I wasn't starting shit, I was just talking to people and then these people just started shitting on me. No, you started it. I was like, okay, okay. and then I got banned, so. <laughs> Let's continue. Uh... The most frequent recent discuss shutting down the directors on uh, two is not. Did I read this already? I feel like I did. I think I did. If DSP and you people here realize this, the forum. Let's see a fly. Uh, oh yeah, the forum and his streams could be more comfortable place to be. His his streams are not comfortable. They're very toxic and they alienate. That's really why he cannot make it above five hundred without view bots or. Uh, there being incredible amounts of rage and salt. When this is a normal stream, it just turns people away. And it's just not a good place to be. It, it really isn't. Uh, there's one of the... That's one of the reasons I don't really like DSP. To clarify, I don't hate him, and I don't want any harm to come his, to come to him in any way, shape, or form. That's going to be banned, by the way. If you, if you say this, you're banned. Because you're, you're a hater. Uh, she performed just because I don't like someone doesn't mean I have I have something hatred for them, seething hatred for them. There is a very big difference, not in DSP's world. In DSP, if you if you dislike him, you hate him. Uh, you know he talks about the how he had to to close the olive branch because the haters weren't abiding by the rules and the rules that he wanted the olive branch to um, to comply with is. For us to not make videos or talk about him publicly, which is not a fucking olive branch. So he's a fucking idiot. That's not that's not even an olive branch, that's not a good deal. That's like if I mean that's like if let's say that America makes a deal with Greece and they're like, okay, Greece, we'll give you um we'll 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 back you up against Turkey or whatever, but but the only way we'll do that, Greece, is if you give us all of your money and we own every everything from you and everything that you make is ours and and you know, you get all the food you you make comes comes to us and you'll just get a little piece of paper that says thank you. Do you think Greece is going to be like yeah, great deal, great deal, America. Let's let's where do I sign? Of course not. They're not gonna fucking do that deal. But that's the kind of deal DSP wanted his detractors. He wanted us to shut up and and give him everything to him. Basically, he's saying like, okay, we'll we'll talk to you only in private, and we'll never make a video about you again. And that's what he wanted, and that's not a good deal at all. It's it's terrible. It's not even fair. So, okay, Phil. And by the way, I tried to talk to him on email, and he never responded. He never responded. So, fuck you, Phil. I tried. I tried. Hashtag, I tried. Um, if you try to email him, uh, comment below, hashtag, I tried. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of bullies. Uh, you don't have to call people names or push them around physically to be a bully. Being a, in a position of authority and abusing that position to shut people down. Mr. Swaggers, you're a bully, by the way. Uh, you know, I agree with this. <laughs> Silence them 
and make them second guess uh, the things and uh, that think that, oh my god, second guess the things that they think is a form of bullying. In a way, that's right. I agree with that. The difference here is that you all have a choice. You have the choice to not to not say openly what you're what's on your mind. Don't donate. Uh, donate. Don't donate. That's your choice as well. But don't allow anyone, and not just DSP in this case, to make you think you can th you can't think or say what you actually feel. Anyway, this probably won't be here uh, long, so I hope at least I can uh, read this and think about it. Have a good day. Have a good day, Pepsi Man. Let's let's uh go to the forms. Let's see what's there now. So they were talking about extinction. Uh the suspension thread is still there. Uh but yeah as you can see uh, Pepsi Man is gone. He went bye bye. So it is what it is. So let's get to the Mr. Hustle stuff video. Uh 18 minutes long, so we have another hour, guys. <laughs> Let's get started. You know, I told you guys I was not going to talk about my taxes, but I have a minor update in regards Yeah, he did say he wasn't going to talk about his taxes anymore. He's talking about his taxes. So the back state taxes, for those who may be interested, um, I just got a letter today from the state of Washington, okay, stating that what's going to happen is with these back taxes, the way it works is I'm going to owe whatever I owed for the years I didn't pay it, plus 30%. So let's say, for example... So just so he doesn't know the amount, but they gave him the percentage he owes. Why? Why wouldn't they say, okay, you owe this much, and this is the uh, percentage? No, no, they only tell him the percentage of, of what they owe, which is weird. Like, so they just... Send him a letter that said you you're gonna owe thirty percent penalties. That's it. I don't know. Just a hypothetical because I have no idea. Let's say for the year of twenty fourteen, I owed the state of Washington a thousand dollars for my taxes. Well, I'm gonna owe them a one thousand three hundred dollars instead because it's three years late. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I have no idea what I owe. In fact, what they said is you have to e-file the same way that I e-filed for last year's business taxes. E-file. Um, so, I have to contact my tax attorney again, who I thought I was done with, but nope, got to contact him again and say, all right, well, now the federal's done, but now the state has contacted me and said we need to e-file the same Another way that we thousand, did. Another thousand, by the you way. You know, for last year's taxes for these last two and a half years that are overdue. I'm going all right, well, now the federal's done, but now the state has contacted me and said we need to e-file the same way that we did you know, for last year's taxes for these last two and a half years that are overdue. But what? But wouldn't those taxes back then be on a different like? I mean, are they gonna are they gonna retroactively apply current year uh, tax system to old taxes like that? Probably because that makes more sense. I guess. I mean, it makes more sense than for them to be like, okay, well, we're gonna. Uh, look back at the laws of 2014 for these taxes. I guess so. Eh. Eh. I'm assuming if we do that, it'll give them the information they need to figure out how much we uh, I owe. Okay, and then I guess once we know that, then we can talk to them about a payment plan because there's no way that I can pay the money. I don't have it. It's, it's that simple. They can just sit there and say, well, I'm getting nothing or they can work out a payment plan with me. I'm pretty sure they're going to work out a payment plan with me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Because I don't have the money. So <clears throat> so anyway, just so you guys know, okay. you know, I know a few of you who are more longtime fans. You know, you've know, you been following the saga of so everything good. going on with the taxes in the, the, in, tax in the past saga. six plus months. Um, it still continues. I still don't know what I owe. I'm not going to know until my attorney works on it, which might not be right. So he doesn't know how much he owes still for the, for the state taxes. But in the twit longer... He said he paid the back taxes. Now he's saying that he still owes the back taxes. This is, like, the thing that, that confused me the most reading that twit longer was, what was the 2017 back taxes? I thought you owed back taxes with the state. Why is the back tax now associated federally, and why is there another back taxes? So was, he, was there a tax in 2017 he didn't pay? I thought he paid the 2017 business tax in January.
What was the tax in January then? You tell me. Right away, I'm sure, because he's still dealing with federal taxes for people, I'm sure. Um, it's probably going to go for a while. I would think probably he wouldn't even do it till like next month and then probably let me you know, file and then probably he'll have to work with the state to see if we can work out a payment plan or whatever. So, But there you go. Just a quick update. Nothing too major. Um, nothing too bad. Nothing too amazing. Nothing too bad. This guy, during Thanksgiving, was like, I have back taxes, guys. That I might have to sell the house. I This might be it, guys. I'm, I'm done. I'm over. Oh, the back taxes. It's going to be this. It's not going to be so bad. Funny how the tune has changed. For, like, almost a year at this point, he was like, guys, taxes, taxes my house, my pie house, I don't know what to do, this is terrible, awful. Now it's like, eh, it's not, it's not so bad, it's, it's okay, uh, this is fine, my, my subs are fine too. Okay, okay, Phil. Right, it just really sucks that... 30% penalty on taxes because I didn't know that I owed them. So there you go. Um, all there because go. of a, a tax attorney that screwed me over and didn't do his job, but I paid him to do the work and he didn't do it. It blows. Hobo X, you're completely misunderstanding the whole situation. I'm not paying state income tax. There is no state income tax in Washington State. I am paying business and occupation tax, which if you are a live streamer, a YouTuber, or both in the state of Washington, you are legally required to or register as a business if you make a certain amount of money and you are legally required to pay taxes and file taxes. If people aren't doing it, they literally are not doing what they're supposed to do. Um, and at any time, they can be caught out just like I was and said, oh, you've been identified as someone not doing it right. You're in hmm. So it's like, oh, they can be called out like I was. And, you know, it is what it is. When he got called out, he was like, fucking detractors got me, they, they fucking snitched. How dare you snitch on me for not paying this? Like, he was like fucking mad that he got reported to the state. But now he's like, well, all the people can be reported. And, and you know, it is what it is. I mean, they, they're just doing them wrong. And, and you know, that's that's the risk that they, that they, that they uh, run. Oh, okay, Phil. In violation, you got to do it or else we're going to come after you. Um, so there you go. It's there that simple. Go. Doesn't matter if other people don't do it. They're not doing it right either then. Okay. <clears throat> Johnny Soros cheered again. He says, did your tax attorney get in trouble for all the epic, epic failure? The old one. No. Because I looked into the it. epic all failure. Right, I looked into it. Legally, what can I do to my tax attorney? All right. Um, legally, all I could do is attempt to sue him in small claims court. What would I sue him for? I can sue him for fees. All right associated with my back taxes. So, for example, as I just hypo, 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 I did a hypothetical, I say, let's say I owe $1,000 for my 2014 back taxes. In fact, let's just hi, make a crazy hypothetical. Let's say that for the, the half of the year of 2014 that I lived in Washington, for all of 2015, all 2016, two and a half years, I lived in Washington those years, let's say I owe, I don't know, $3,000 total in back taxes that I didn't pay for those three years. Just a crazy hypothetical. All right. Crazy. So now 30% bonus, right? Fees, right? Like I said, it's 30% fees for not paying them on time. $900. I would only be able to go after my former tax attorney for that $900. There's no way I could go after him for the tax that I legitimately owe. Because they would argue, oh, well, you still owe that no matter what. That's not his fault that you owe it. It's his fault you didn't pay it. So he should only be responsible for the fees and things associated with that, you know, that are a result of you not paying it. Okay? So I could only sue him for $900. That's it. All right? Wouldn't that be better than nothing? Because that would allow you to save money. Now, of course, he'll argue, oh, I never said this or that. Now, I have an email. I have an email from him where I specifically asked him, should I seek out a new tax attorney in the state of Washington since they would know more about the tax code here? And his direct response was, I can continue to be your tax attorney and serve all of your tax needs. And then later email correspondence from him that I have says, I have researched and... 
So we got two emails. The second one we never heard about before. This is the first time we heard about this email. This is these hot emails that he had with his old tax attorney. Now, now the thing that's funny is that he literally said, "Oh, uh, do you, do you think I should get another tax attorney?" The thing is, is that what he, that guy could say to the court would be, "Look, I I told him I could be his tax attorney." Theoretically, any tax attorney could be your tax attorney because it's not like a doctor where you need to, you know, go to to see him in person because no one's gonna fly across the country to see their doctor. I mean, unless they're on vacation, I guess. I whatever. But the tax attorney can theoretically, uh, you know, take care of you everywhere. So he could have said, "Look, I could. I I thought I could take care of him because I knew as much as he did about Washington, and I just thought all they had was this." He moved to Washington. He should have done the research in the move. Now, now it could go either way. I, I think the judge could go either way. He could either side with Phil on, on this, saying that, oh, well, the tax attorney is in the wrong with this because he should have known that he would not be able to cover you. But at the same time, they, the judge could also look at Phil and say, well, you just you decided to stick with him even knowing you're in a different state than him. So it could really go either way in this case, but I think, realistically, I think the judge is most likely going to side with uh, the tax attorney, because he's going to sit there and be like, oh, he's, you know, a Connecticut state attorney. I mean, he studied in Connecticut tax law, so why would he magically know about Washington? found that there is no state income tax in the state of Washington. Therefore, we are only going to be doing your federal tax return. Okay. So it's going to be very subjective. All right. It will be in the hands of a judge, basically, to determine those emails. Is that enough evidence of this per former tax attorney stating that, you know, he knows what he's doing and he's going to continue to be my tax attorney and that there was no further taxes outside of the federal taxes? Is that enough evidence to prove wrongdoing that he did not clearly do the research needed and he or he missed it, which is his own negligence, and, it, and then he should be responsible or not? But like, the, even with those emails, I don't even think that'd be enough because it's like, because he... DSP could have could have doctored the emails, dude. See, see, this is the funny part. This is the funny part. This is this is hilarious, by the way. He tells us he cannot scan the tax documents because oh, we could have doctored the taxes, dude. We could we could doctor them all up, uh, or we could say that oh, he doctored the tax uh, attorney. But sending emails to a to a judge. The judge cannot possibly think it's it's doctored. Now I don't know if there's a way to validate emails. I mean, there probably is. There probably is like they probably have to talk to the provider, maybe like the email provider. Be like, okay, we need to pull the pull records up, whatever. I don't know. Uh, or or that I guess there would be a way to know if the email is doctored or not. I don't know. Maybe they could be like, oh, log into my account. But at the same time, who's to say that? I don't know. I don't know. You know, the, the emails. Let's say, let's say, for the sake of this video, of this video, that they that they're enough. They're enough. The judge is like, okay, these these emails are good enough. The judge could also just say easily that it should be up. The responsibility should be on the client, not the uh, tax attorney, because the tax attorney is just, you know, formulating the taxes. To to what he knows, and he knows the Connecticut law. He knows the Connecticut tax law. He has no idea where, what the fuck Washington is. And the thing is that you know him saying that there could be other issues, but with this that might not even be related to DSP's own tax issue. It could be another issue where it could be like, well, you really shouldn't have taken the client from Washington. But at the same time, Phil chose to stick to stick with him. So as I said, I think it's both of their fault that DSP is in where it is. I think it's a little bit more so on Phil's end because it's his taxes, but it could also be the tax attorney guy's fault as well. I think they, they both share uh, responsibility on this because, again, DSP chose to stick with him. He should have he said to himself, 
well, I'm in Washington. I should just get a, a, a Washington uh, tax attorney because they'll be in the same time zone as I am. I could easily access him more so than the guy in Connecticut because the guy in Connecticut's all the way in fucking Connecticut. You know, it, it, he should have done it himself. So I, I really, if he, if he magically goes to court, I really hope the judge uh, sides with the tax attorney because it was really dumb of Phil to stick with a guy in Connecticut when he moved across the country. That's so fucking stupid. Then, okay, then on top of all that, then the judge would have to determine is he responsible for the full fees? Is he responsible for partial? You know what I mean? By the way, all that costs money. There's no service to file free lawsuits against people in... in now, now, thanks to you lovely people in the comment section, you guys are lovely people. Thumb, thumbs up to you guys, pat yourself on the back. You guys have educated me and enlightened me that you that people could do free lawsuits through like civil um pro uh, pro bono whatever you know that kind of shit that that shit you guys know you guys know you guys you guys told me about it you guys know what I'm talking about now from what I read in the comments the way that it sounds is that either the lawsuit would have to be, would have to make them feel confident that they'd win the case or it would be like mostly elderly that they cases that they that they would take i don't think phil would be their their target or their clientele that they would want because he's uh 36 years old he uh you know he he, he i i don't know i i just don't really think he's in a state in a condition that a lawyer would be like yeah let's do this this case for free i i just don't see it uh and at the same time, you know, I, I don't think it'd be worth their time. I don't know. That, that, that's just me. I just don't think it's uh, going to be ultimately worth it. You know, like a civil court for stuff like this. It doesn't exist. Doesn't so exist. more than likely for me to try to get this guy, let me get this guy, right? It would probably end up costing me more time and more money than it's worth. I mean, I might spend more money just getting the lawsuit to court for $900. Now, okay, this is hypothetical. If I let me tell you this, if I hold a hundred thousand dollars in back taxes and the fees were thirty, forty thousand dollars, of course, then I would sue the guy. But the but you just said that you'd lose money in this lawsuit. So wouldn't you want to save as much money as possible if you owed that much? I mean, technically, you know, I guess it'd be risk reward. Like it'd be kind of worth it. But then this would be worth it too, because. The uh the lawyer fees might even let's say they have to pay for a lawyer and all this kind of stuff. It you know depending on the lawyer you might get a good deal, or you could or Phil you know what Phil what you could do Phil since you since you're so smart since Phil is so smart why can't he defend himself? He is he has the height on uh, one of the top SAT scores in Connecticut, which is news to me. I live in fucking Connecticut. No one ever. Talks about Phil Burnell where I am. No one even knows who he is. I mean, maybe, like, some people. If I go to a convention here, they're going to be like, Oh, yeah, Phil Burnell, that, that fucking asshole. <laughs> but, yeah, so apparently he, he has a high SAT score. He's, he's a genius, dude. He's hyper-intelligent. Uh, and he has a business degree. So, Phil, why don't you defend yourself since you're so smart? I, why, why don't you just do that? Why don't you just do that? The thing is, my taxes issue here is small potatoes. It's not, you know what I mean? How There's do you know it's small potatoes? It could, it could be a lot of money. Again, again, he, he hyped up these back taxes in November when he announced them. He was like, these back taxes are going to be huge. The taxes, dude. Taxes, the government's not a great place. The uh, Taxes, dude. The taxes are going to be huge. Now it's, oh, it's small potatoes. It's fine. It's not. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's. It's fine. I. I think he knows how much he owes, and he just doesn't want to tell us. It, this is more like flaky than his federal taxes because that. Uh, I. I. I kind of. I. I. You know, to a degree, understand that why he may not know how much he owed, to some degree. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's a little debatable with that. But with these state bag taxes, it just sounds weird. They give him the percentage of fees that he'll he'll get 
but not the amount he owes. Why? And why would they need to assess the, the business tax? That Because this business is different from 28... Any business, any business would be different three years from when the incident started. Like, he could be like... like let's say that his business back then was like, you know, worth $100. That's incredibly low. Let's just say $100. Three years later, his business might be millions. You know, why, like, and the business expense would be different. Every business expense with each company and business is different every year. They, they change depending on what's going on. So I don't know necessarily why they would be interested in what he's doing and what he's making now for these past three years. I, do, I don't know. It's really fucking weird to me. Again, I am no tax expert. Someone might tell me, Theo, you're a fucking idiot. That's not how the fucking taxes work, buddy. Let me tell you. And we'll be like, oh, okay. Then, then uh, we're going to have to wait for another Theo video to to amend the the things I said in this video. It's, all, it's a whole chain of events. <laughs> no way it's going to be that much money. So it's not going to make sense so for I guess me to that was small potatoes. There's no point. There's literally no point. All right. And so again, classic DSP throws a hissy fit, throws a temper tantrum about his taxes or about when things go go wrong for him, just so they could say everything's fine. What a fucking sleazy fucker! He always does this. He always does this. He did this last year, uh, in January. Guys, I I might I I my business is tanking or whatever. February, guys, uh, I I over I exaggerated. It, everything's fine. I overreacted. He overreacts to everything. So he literally overreacted to these back taxes, and now it's like, eh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, Phil. Fuck you. Any of that. Plus, as you guys know, I'm overworked as it is. I'm streaming every day, all day. For every day, all day, except for today, which is Thursday, when I'm recording this. He has a day off. But every day, he streams. And he's overworked from playing video games. Okay. Right. Uh, I get one day wealth a week to spend with my girlfriend. Where am I going to get magical time now to start lawsuits and lawyers and all that? If you start a lawsuit, you tell your girlfriend, that I need to start a lawsuit. I'm sure Kat's going to understand. Like, I like how he thinks that that if you take time away from your girlfriend, she's going to instantly, immediately just think that, oh, you're an asshole, fuck you, and and uh, break uh, break up with you. But they would only do that. If you don't put the effort into trying, because it's one thing, like, we, I mean, again, I, I guess I'm, I'm playing just Dr. Phil, guys, but let's say that you have a partner, and you have a very busy job. Let's say that you're a surgeon or something, and you're on call, uh, you know, and you, it's, like it's your day off, you're going to go over to a romantic night, whatever, then you get a, then your pager goes up for the hospital, calls like, Bill, we need you to come to the hospital, we got a patient for you, and you're gonna tell your your girlfriend or your wife or whatever. Be like, hey, honey, I gotta go. I have a I have a surgery to do. You know, it sucks, but whatever. She's not gonna sit there and be like, oh, you're gonna do go do a, do a surgery. <sighs> okay, uh, we're we're done. Oh my god, what is going on here? We're done. We're we're done, guys. <laughs> Sorry about this. So, uh, crap. Oh, yeah. So, oh my God, I can't talk. Hello. 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 Okay. It's all good. It's all good, guys. Um. So, hopefully I can get through this fucking thought. So. You're with your significant other. Let's say you have, like, a little bit of less of a, of a stressful job as a surgeon, let's say. Let's say that that you're a Let's Player. And you're like, okay, uh, you know, this guy did me dirty. I want to sue him. 
and your girlfriend's like supporting you have a good good luck together and she's gonna be like oh okay you know who else do that's fine and whatever you just have to put the effort into into the uh I, I, I'm abandoning this thought, okay? Apparently, if I think about this, everything goes off. So let's let's continue. Well, yeah, where is it going to come from? If anything, all right, it would take. Uh, sadly, it would just take away from the streams. It would be less time for me to work, less time for me to entertain you guys and earn more money in the present. So why am I going to bother with that? And the answer is, I'm not. There's no point in me doing it. It's a complete waste of time. Um, so, no. I haven't gone after the old tax attorney. He's not in trouble because there's... In order for me to get him in trouble, I would have to sue him. Then, of course, if word got out that he was sued and successfully lost the case against a, a former client of his because of negligence, he would probably would lose his practice. Like, people would probably pull out in droves and say, there's no fucking way I want to do taxes with this guy anymore. So, there you go. There you go. By the way, let me go open up my blinds and turn down my speakers before we get started here tonight. You know, one other thing, one other thing that people should remember that a lot of people forget about. I now live in Washington State. The old attorney is in Connecticut, okay? Uh, it's not like I could just go to small claims court and file a claim and then be there in person for a trial. I mean, it's not possible. Um, at one point, they'd probably require me to be there in person, which I can't do, or my lawyer would have to fly there, which is too expensive. See what I mean? So it's not worth it. Oh. Uh, oh, excuse me. Spooky one, you're right. If he screwed me over, he might be screwing over the other people too. So let's hope that the other people, if, if he does screw over... Why would, they, why would he screw over people who live in the same fucking state? He did your taxes when you're in Connecticut just fine. When he moved to Washington, it was different because guess what? Guess what, Phil? The Washington tax laws are not the same with Connecticut. Wow, it's like they're two different states. For other people for a lot more money, let's hope that they can afford to take him to court and they have the time to do it. I don't, I can't afford it and I don't have the time for it. It's that simple. So there you go. They call me Pineapple Man. Okay, this is so ridiculous. And when would I have time to do any of the things you're describing? When would this happen? Would it be, let's see. I, right now, I get up around between 9.15 and 9.30 a.m. every day. Let's see. I wash up. I use the bathroom. usually grab something for, for breakfast or have a coffee. And I immediately am streaming. I'm streaming all the way through until 4 p.m. Then I'm uploading till 4.30. At 4.30, I'm making dinner and or eating dinner with my girlfriend. We have about one hour a day together between streams. Then I'm right back on stream, streaming till about 9 to 10 p.m., uploading videos. Then I have a little bit more time with her. And then it's 11 o'clock or midnight. Okay, so, and that's every day, except for the day I have off, which is my day off with her. So, when exactly will I be doing any of the things you're describing, my friend? Where? When would this happen? To get, what, $900, $1,000? Or, I could just work now, I could, you know, do fun, entertaining streams for you guys, raise more money, new money on new games, and not worry about the past, which is what I've been doing. So, there you go. Reggie Face, I do not stream 12 hours a day. However, the setup, the breakdown, and the uploading of the videos and all of that in between amounts to about 12 hours of work. I'd say on or off, you know, if you think about it, I start work at 10.15. Actually, it's really more 10 o'clock because I'm getting stuff set up. And that stream doesn't end till 4. And then I upload for a half an hour. So right there, there's six and a half hours. Then I take about an hour and a half break. I'm back at 6. And I'm streaming till 9 and another. So you're talking, that's about 10 hours right there. And then in between, keep in mind, there's tweeting, 
There's monitoring of everything going on. There's constant reading of emails for my work. Emails I'm getting from YouTube about videos that have monetization declined or monetization approved and answering, you know, fans and all that kind of stuff. I'd say I put in about, uh, on an average day, an average day, probably between 10 to 12 hours of work a day, on average. There's some days that are longer, and yes, there's some days that are less, but I'd say on average, that's about average, so. <clears throat> Anything else? Ben Boxer says, it's the principle. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, yeah. Do Am I pissed? Of course I'm pissed. I'm incredibly pissed at that situation, and I don't want that guy to ever screw anyone else over again. However, sadly, I'm not the person in the position to fix it. I'm not, you know? I'm not. I'm the person who needs to bust my ass to work every day and try to make, you know, make money, make ends meet. Put out entertaining, entertaining streams for you guys every day. So he he's told he told us that he has to play play every day. He has no time for all these things, but he has time to just fart around on Twitter. Why don't you stream around the time when you do, like or wake up early? You can wake up at fucking seven a.m. What's stopping you? Okay. And uh, that's my focus. You know, I can't. I'm not a guy who's in a financial position to be able to mess around and make an example of this guy. I'm not. And yes, Reggie Face, that is correct as well. He says, you might go through all the effort and not even win. The law works in mysterious ways, and I'm assuming he may be a better player of the law than any of us. True. He, mi he might have a way to spin it and say, well, you see, those emails were not legal contracts, you know. That's not really spinning it. They're not legal contracts. They're fucking emails. He didn't say this is a legal document. Okay. And I only ever billed him for federal returns. It's not like I billed him for a state return. I didn't do it. I didn't, you know, he, he would probably finagle it in a way where, you know, he might get out of it or he only is partially responsible. So what's the See, point? Th it's now, this is what made me think. I think... You know, this part of this pre-stream here really shows the real reason why he isn't going to sue him. I swear to God, if I get a text message, I'm throwing my phone out the window. But this is what I, this this part, when I even heard this part, I, I just, a little, little, little voice in my head just dinged. And I think, so I think the reason why he's not suing him is because he knew he'd lose. And, and right here is why, because he would be able to say that these emails are not legal binding, these emails are just discussions. We talked about this, and I only talked about the best of my, of my knowledge of what I can do in the scope of my practice. I don't know about Washington state laws because I did not train under Washington state laws, so I only, uh, meant, I only helped them as much as federal because I know federal, you know? And I, th I think Phil knows deep down that he'd lose the case. The point I'm making. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm done talking about this. I really only wanted to mention it because a lot of people I know are wondering what we're having with the state taxes because I had no update. Now the update I know, the penalty will be 30%. The question is, what do I owe? And, uh, you know, how long are they going to give me to pay it? So Probably a year. All right. That's it for this bonus. See you next time. We left, we learned, and we cried all in one take. Crazy stuff, right? But I was going through the comment section of my videos, and one of the requests that caught my eye was Yuko from Kill La Kill. I'm going to be drawing that on the detractor canvas. And remember, guys, always send your requests in the comment section below, and just maybe your character will be on the detractor canvas thank you guys and i hope you enjoy ryuko from kill a kill
shoes, there's no other choice but to go all out. Stay with me and let's stand out. And I'll shine those trying to get all stars now. All we have to do is figure out how strong we are and what it takes to stay alive. Sink and learn what we can do to take them down. It's revenge and survive for now. We know it's part and you can feel my heart so. Help me to stay focused so I don't fall apart. I wanna be complete. It's not in me to retreat. I could lose on my own so I really need you with me. Blood is pumping, I'm ready to fight when you are Let's let no one break the bond, that is all Show them what it means to be a shining star You have my body, let's fight as one Some crumbs are yes. This is for some. 